Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games broadcasting at 60 frames a second. And can you see Pixel here? He's so happy He's today. He's so happy today. He's, He's not all usually over us. this affectionate. And now he just ran away. <laughs> uh, just as we were setting up for the stream, he was all over us, cuddles. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, very but unusual for now him. Now he's run away, of course. Yeah, that's okay. Because I'm talking, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so we've got a bunch of games today. We've got I Ran. This is an exclusive, world exclusive today. Mm -hmm. It's an update. He's done all new graphics for it, mm -hmm. like he did for um, Ninja Sky and Peril. So he's revamping his, his game I Ran as well. Okay, cool. VHZC. Uh, we've got Robot City, which is probably the final version of okay. Robot probably, City. Probably, probably. Probably. Okay. Unless there's something that uh, Thomas as, finds. As, as, yeah. And Thomas is in the chat today Lovely. with us. Hello. We'll also be playing uh, Larry the Lemon. This is mm. from 2015. Mm. Uh, made by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. And we'll be continuing on with Millie and Molly. Oh, good. Yay. The puzzle game. Yay. And uh, he's passed over an update for it, too. Mm. And we made it to level 30, 30? 31. I can't um, remember now. 30, we did 30? play 31. We, I we think definitely we made it to 30, 30, was it 33? No. I don't know. Anyway, 30 um, something. And he passed Early over 30s. the code for level 31. So we'll oh, we can start on. off. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Um, <laughs> so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that support the show. Cafe Man, 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoid, Dan, AVC, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny, WC23, Carl G. Croco, 2600, Laudmont, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat, VG, RC70, Repentless, VG, Retro Salaryman, Socrates, 0603, S. Ramirez, 2008, The D-Train, 37, Welshman, 89, Thunkist, and Tiki, Dan, K. We can start already. Yeah, <laughs> we have started. And you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and uh, make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the things. Mm -hmm. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you know when the show's on and what games we'll be playing and whether you want to watch or not. Um, <laughs> and I want to thank all the people who are joining us live because we do broadcast live if you watch on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, currently it's Wednesdays and Sundays for the next foreseeable future. Um, Dan AVC is in, oh, the chat. Actually, I don't think I updated my Twitch subscriber list here. Oh, so it may, may have updated. It's might not, might not be complete. Um, might not be a hundred percent accurate. I can do that really quick because <laughs> I don't want to miss anybody that did subscribe. And I don't want to put subscribers on there that aren't subscribers anymore <laughs> there we go it's probably very 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 similar there, there we go. go so that should be updated now um thank you everybody for joining us uh live here scott of the hall that's a new person that was here uh, last, last week yeah. as well mm -hmm. dan avc thrust 26 uh mark space inc uh pack rad vg and all the other people who are lurking and not talking. Mm -hmm. You're out there. Um, some mail news and feedback. Uh, I got a message from uh, D-Train, and I did see this posted in on Facebook in a bunch of places. It says, hey, James, hope you, that you and Tanya are doing well. What about Atari and Pixel? <laughs> they live here, too. Everyone knows <laughs> that Atari and Pixel are doing well. Yes. Yeah. Um, just wanted to let you know that Dan Kitchen was on planetscott.tv on Facebook tonight and he said and he gave the link talking about Activision in general and Gold Rush in particular. He showed some new game footage and said that he's going to do a Kickstarter later this year and is planning on releasing the game for the holidays. He did not want to do a Kickstarter sooner because everyone is in flux because of the pandemic. He uh, also said that he was looking to do a run of perhaps a thousand cartridges. Nice. Um, which sounds like a lot, but he, since he's a big name and travels to a ton of shows, that might be realistic mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if you want to mention this in the news section of the show, but just thought I would bring it to your attention if if you did. Have a great weekend and talk soon. Mm -hmm. David, well, thank you very much for that update. I didn't get a chance to uh, check out that interview. Mm. Cat over there? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Digging through your stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
but uh, I will check that out and see what the updates are for Gold Rush because we're very looking very much forward. Is there yes. a cat in there? Oh yeah, he's up high. On the oh my god. <laughs> scaling our shelves in there um yeah we're very looking forward to playing gold rush um we get the world exclusive of gold rush on zero page here when it's are you bad are you a bad cat he says yes i am yes i'm, I'm exploring cat. now that he knows he can get up on those shelves i know <laughs> it's gonna be never ending i was like there's a cat and then i look up and i'm like he scaled all the shelves up to the top oh of the storage God. space i'm like oh my goodness uh, thank you, Mark Space Inc., for subscribing. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, and supporting Pixel the show. Pixel does want attention. <laughs> that is his whole life. He, well, he just wants attention. He's sleeping or wants attention. It's usually one of two states. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or so, attacking yeah. his brother. We're very looking forward um, to Gold Rush yes. coming out That'd and talking exciting. with Dan uh, when he gets closer to the release as well. Um, and he's been doing it. A lot of, a uh, lot of shows, a lot of online shows. Oh, that's I've excellent. I've seen them posted all the time. Nice. And it, this is the time to do it because you can't go to any of the conventions. They're no. not running. No. So, you know, go on all the shows that play video games. Yeah, it's, it's a great. good time for online self-promotion. It is. there's not a lot of other really promotion you can do right now. He's gone right back. Home. No, he's, he's okay. I'll keep my ear open. I'll okay. grab him. We'll toss him out if he's bad. Yeah. He's, He'll be bad. It's the, it's, it's when, it's, it's, yeah. not an if. Um, so we yeah. uh, the first game we're going to be playing is I Ran. Excellent. This uh, is the first version for a long time because he's been concentrating on Peril mm. and Ninja Sky, so which is great. So it's the first update in a long time. First update in yeah. a long time. And this update um, really completely redoes the graphics mm. on it. Um, so it'll be great to take a look at that. Here is a controller. Mm -hmm. I'll switch over to that. And we'll talk a little bit more about it. So go up to today's date. It's funny, it's coming up at the top now. Yeah, it didn't it used to sort it. It used to be at the bottom of yeah. that. Um, very, very interesting. Does it start instantaneously? No. Yep. No, oh, but I mean it has, oh, a, it has a screen. It has a screen. Yeah. Yep, yep. He, he likes making it. Don't touch anything I'm yet. I'm not touching anything yet. That's why I asked <laughs> if You're there like was a screen. You're like going for the button. No, I'm just, I have my hands so, on the nice, uh, controller. <laughs> Nice title screen You know there. what? It matches my shirt today. That was completely <gasps> unintentional. Does. Mustard. Like, well, yellow. lime green, lime green, but yeah. Mm. Not mustard yep, yep. yellow. <laughs> Not mustard yellow. What if we... You guy. Yeah. Trying to name a, a color. It's like, no, just stick with your primaries. <laughs> it's green or yellow. Yeah. No, yeah. it's nice. That's nice. So we've got a nice, very nice title screen. He's got uh, his name colored at the bottom and 2020 for the score. Which is kind of Very a good cute. way to do it. Yeah, that's cute. Um, so this was first originally posted August 5th, 2019. This build is from yesterday. Mm. So he's been keeping me up to date on it. It's a 16K F6 game. Other games he's made. Uh, Do Re Mi, Draco, I Ran, Night Guy in Low Res World. Low Res Racer, which we I actually postponed. We were going to play that. Mm. Um, but he came out of nowhere with, with this the with, the, and we with the new build. It's like, oh, yeah. let's let's nice. go for the new game. Nice. Um, Ninja Sky, um, uh, Peril, and a Roach in Space. This build is not available, but it will be very very soon. Probably okay. right after the stream, nice. you'll be able to download and play it. Mm. Um, last time we played this was August twenty third, two thousand nineteen. So let's. Uh, Mm -hmm. Six-digit year. I guess he's Y10K compliant <laughs> already. Yeah. You gotta plan ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is actually a uh, another concerning date coming up. Which is? Uh, 2038. Okay. Um, where a lot of computers can't handle that. Why? Um, it, I think, for the exact same reason as before. It's just that's when they've they, they someone put a cap on on 2038 in the date yeah ages. i think it was 1938 when it started and it's just the same it's just pushed forward i may be wrong on that but <laughs> you love the... you love uh, problematic dates <laughs> i know that's a it's an issue so coming up yeah uh thank us for thank you Ramirez, for resubscribing he's up to 11 months that's awesome and he says Very hi cool. everyone Hello. as his message because when you subscribe you're able to put a special message Oh, are you? Nice. Yeah. Nice. I mean, that's more for um, chats that are moderated. Oh, I see. So that only subscribers can talk. Gotcha. 
say you have 1500 people watching your stream yeah, fair and enough. you don't want the, the chat going crazy That's you go fair enough. just yeah. limit it to subscribers yeah, we're not quite at that level yet no <laughs> okay let's All let's right. jump into it this is an endless runner game normal oh. heart normal heart I like I like the big blocky fonts. It's That's awesome. That's probably the biggest menu ever made on a twenty six hundred. So jump. Oh. Yeah, but aren't I gonna hit my head on the? Oh no, there's nothing above oh. you. A city scrolling by. Oh. Oh, it's a city. Oh, it's black. Okay. Yeah. It did a really weird. It's, it's... Um, it makes I, I'm like, why are there? Uh, what is it? Stalactites. Uh, oh, anyway. you're thinking the blue. But I see. I oops. Duck. Have to duck. Yeah. <laughs> So you're thinking the blues are things coming down. Like but stalactites, it's, yeah. It's city and shadow. It's just a slight uh, optical illusion there. Yeah. There we go. There okay. We go. Ooh. And he's really Cute. Upped, upped the uh, graphics. That is gorgeous Ooh. with the shadows. Those are very much... Oh, they're so cute. Oh. You see those jumping things? Those are from uh, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. Oh, that, yeah, that yeah, frog yeah. frog thing. And he's made very good use of uh, vertical colors. Um, Have we? We haven't played this before. Long time ago. Oh. Not this version. He had different graphics. Oh! Goodness. Uh, oh, Scott of the Hall. 2020 high score. Wow. It is, is it easy? Oh, it's the year. <laughs> <laughs> Does present an optical illusion. Love the look of the new graphics. Yeah. Nice colors. Yeah, the color, like that column is is beyond what you normally see on a 2600 that oh, yeah. kind of column and the and the grass and that mailbox yeah. sign what oh i have to jump over it <laughs> <laughs> yeah can't duck uh, that one it's not it's not particularly hard to play i just uh and um following along with his other games um peril and uh ninja sky and low res world he has uh updated the score graphics at the bottom to be his, his outline font, which is a gorgeous font. There you go, duck. Oh, you can jump it. Wow. It's harder to jump it, that's for sure. <laughs> this is fun. Duck. Oh, duck? <laughs> duck the ducks. Oh. That was in his original one, too. Oh. So this is in the style of Endless Runner. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't played Endless Runners before, it's pretty much how it sounds. Uh, you just keep running. You can't stop running, really, no. is the mechanic. Yeah, you're not pushing left or right. You're just jumping. Jumping, jumping or ducking. ducking. Oh, Sometimes in Endless it. Runners, you can go left and right if it's a, a perspective from behind. Yeah. Um, but this is really the common style uh, 2D perspective from the side. Um, there's another really good Endless Runner as well. I don't know if I... They put that on cartridge. Just a gorgeous oh. side view one where you're on the top of buildings. Do you want to go? It's a very quick game, so. Yes. <laughs> well, he'll, you'll probably get further. Hey, VH, that's he's here. Welcome. Yes. And you can see on the bottom the animated lives, which is really, really oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that is really good. That's not something you see very commonly in uh, Atari 2600. Games. Animated lives? No. Animated, yeah. Anything really that's not on the immediate screen. <laughs> that's true, but it's on a different plane, so um, they can get. <laughs> and so all you have to do is update. I mean, all you have to do. Oops. Yeah. Ducked. You have to jump. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. And he's got some parallax going on with the city. Yeah. Going in a different. Sp oh. <laughs> not as easy as it seems. <laughs> no, it is. A... It is easy as far as the gameplay. Yeah. I love all these. Because it's only sprites and characters. Ducking awesome. or jumping. Oh, they're really great. Yeah. But you do have to be really quick on some of these. These ones, yeah. Look at them. <laughs> That's a sign or a mailbox. It's easier to... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a shame you start right back at the beginning. There must be, like, I bet level there's a markers? checkpoint somewhere. I would hope, or maybe not. Maybe you just continually... It's just one shot all the way through. It pushes you back, which is a really nice I was thinking graphic. that... that gray thing was like the a level marker point. but it wasn't it brought you it right back to the like, beginning yeah they use... that looks like a checkpoint but it's oh not God, come on <laughs> yeah usually signs like that in games are checkpoints yeah maybe but... you can repurpose it as the checkpoint unless yeah. the checkpoint is no we're just we just oh my suck, god <laughs> it's doing way better when i was just practicing this off stream oh really yeah yeah 
You were practicing on em on the emulator? Emulator. Or? Yeah. Yeah, just so I know that it works. <laughs> and I know what I'm in for. Yeah. Well, you played a little it bit. before, but you have an idea of what it looks like, right? Yeah, I mean, the gameplay from before mm -hmm. is Duck. is the same. Those come fast. Those come super fast. Ah. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's you have to trampoline. jump and jump? Ah. But Do you start was... at the beginning? Yeah, this is done. the question. There. Oh. No. Ducks? No, it is. Wow. Oh, no, I started a new game, though. Oh, I you ran did? out of lives. Ah. Yeah, unfortunately. Neat. I've made it. That's as far as I've made it. I made it past that uh, giraffe, but uh, which has hu which is a huge sprite and has really detailed graphics. Duck the ducks. Mm. Nice. Okay. Oh, we're getting to I don't some know what that stuff. is. There oh, we go. Your flag. Yeah, eventually it was going to come. Oh, ah, my it God. comes back. But well, you should be starting at the you checkpoint. Still at a checkpoint. Yes. Good Yay. Stuff. Oh, oh, my God. No. <laughs> Did I get an extra life? Those are not ducks, by the way. Those are seagulls. Ah. It should be ducks. Whoa. Oh, his chain is back. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Is it three again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The problem is, unless you make it, oh. unless you've seen the enemy before, you don't know oh. what the hell to do. You've wrapped around, it looks like. Oh, I may have. I may have. It does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I made it. Yay. Oh. oh. There we go. Now you have to wrap around. <laughs> I will do my best. Chain does look great. Flock yeah. of seagulls. Yeah, it should yes. be seagulls. Should be seagulls. Those are seagulls. A little flock of them. Yeah. Oh, they are seagulls. They are seagulls. Oh, nice. So he's got a lot of really great graphics already in here. I mean, those aren't frogs. They're slime jumping things because they kind of they're kind of mushy. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought I hit it fast enough, but not maybe quite fast not. enough. Right at the end. Bad luck to kill a seabird. Yeah, it is. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, from the lighthouse. Well, no, that that is a thing. It is bad luck to kill a seabird. Defoe saying it is from the lighthouse, <laughs> though. Oh, Defoe, yes, yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen that film... It's a great film. It's crazy. Very weird, but a very cool film. Yes, very, very cool. Oh. oh. I'm listening to you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, that is a good film. Very unusual. I, like, temporarily forgot I could duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely needed. Oh, yeah. I ran as one of my favorite flock of seagulls songs. <laughs> it's, it's really, really good song. Uh, we saw a flock of seagulls. Did we? Yeah, at a, yeah. a, a, oh, at a late there. kind of 90s, 80s. There was an 80s. Ah, I keep ducking. 80s. It's, it's very deceiving. Kind of collective of 80s bands. Oh, just at one of like the uh, exhibitions in Vancouver, the PE. Yeah. Yep. They had uh, the 80s night of concerts. Flock of Seagulls? I think Flock of Seagulls. Yeah. I think they were there with they a whole bunch of other 80s bands. They didn't have hair anymore. I, why do I keep <laughs> doing that? That's terrible. <laughs> It's just mentally, I see the gap, and I think, oh, I'm supposed to duck. The chain is a placeholder. I, I used a sprite I have will probably not be used in the next build. Oh, I don't know. The chain's pretty cool. I like cool. the chain. The chain is, like, pretty startling when it comes <laughs> down. It's very startling and huge. And Esther says, nice placeholder. Hope you use it somewhere else. How many lives do you have? Uh, you start off with three. They're the little red rotating things at the bottom of the screen. Ooh, just Ooh, in just... time. Just. Thank oh, that's, goodness. That's a nice. Um, and but jump. There you go. Oh, don't don't. Ah! I ran right into the chain. <laughs> so I, I thought the mice would mouse would get you. Didn't see it. When no, I, was... I knew it was there. Just 
who almost told nice me to jump. Long time. Oh, and you're back to the beginning. Yay! Oh, oh you're not. not almost, quite. almost. Oh. Jump. Ah! <laughs> that was pretty close, though. You were very close very to last. Very close to the end. Oh no. Painful. You can do it. You're so close. I'll just to the do end. one more. Yep. If I get it or not. I've seen you make yeah. it all the way. Depends how jittery I am for my coffee this morning. So I think I made it to the checkpoint with my first life, and that's how I was able to. Well, the rest, the second part didn't seem all that. Second part. Ah, I keep oh. talking. There's something about the gap there that makes me think I need to die. Second part's not as bad because you're kind of used to some of the enemies at that point. Oh, oh Atari's back. Hi, buddy. I don't know if he's on screen. No, you're, it's you're a, little a little bit high today. zoomed in today. Yeah, maybe I'll zoom out and go a little bit lower because you can't see this cute, yeah, cute little kitty. Yeah, he's very sweet. So is Pac-Man Red doing the uh, graphics, or VHZC, are you doing the graphics? Score font is great, please keep that. I think he will, because that's the same um, score font as his other games now that he's kind of updated and put together. That giraffe is amazing. So good. Yay, but you only have one life. Good. Like I can't. I don't. I, I'm mentally. I'm not sure what's coming up next. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, oh! Every time it gets me. Every time. That's okay. I'm good. I'm good. We've <laughs> seen good. you to the end. It's I've. Like, yeah. It's Gorgon's chain. Yeah. <laughs> in game over screen. If you use reset. In oh, we didn't do hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because we didn't see. Oh. Oh no. I have to die. No, just die die to get to that screen yeah see so does the slide mm. like in um ninja sky yeah slide not just a duck it's a slide because he's moving yeah, there we slides. go okay, okay totally now. forgot about the extra mode there we go one life what oh it's a different type of life it's a heart oh, oh it's, it's totally different. different it starts on it starts on uh section two uh yeah. Section two. Oh, okay. A lot so of grass. It's different now. A lot, a lot of grass. <laughs> this you know what this reminds me of? Oh. Quest for tires. Yeah. <laughs> very similar. Which There's, was he hasn't introduced any gaps yet. Like gaps in the Oh, grass. you get one shot, yeah. It's a one shot. Jeez. That's okay. Endless runners usually frequently are. You have one life and that's it. Mm. A lot of endless runners. Oh it's like oh it's randomized. <gasps> oh neat. That's why it's so... Challenging. Yeah. That's awesome. Is it a consistent randomization, though? Uh, oh, it's all over the place. Because yeah. the bullets used to come in threes. I love the chain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, quest for tires. <laughs> yeah, because you jump over grass in Quest for Tires. Like, literally, uh, that's one of the... Holes in the ground, grass, rocks. Right. Rocks roll downhill. Yeah. Tires come downhill. Oh. Branches, I think. Yes, you have duck branches. Um, oh. uh, see, that, that gets me every time. Okay. All right. Play randomized. The people have spoken. We love the chain. <laughs> we love the chain. The <laughs> chain is just so startling. Every time. The bullet. One life, random obstacles. Very cool. And the score is fixed. One point for each screen. Okay. I didn't notice what the score was for the normal mode. Nice, I like the games are different between normal and hard. That is good, because it's not just faster or something. It's like a totally different game. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to have... Ah, ah, every time. 14, that's awful. <laughs> it's nice to have it randomized, so you don't, you can't plan. You really have to react. I bet playing on that's hard would really help you in the normal game. Oh, yeah. Because you have to be just reactionary. I haven't seen the mouse in the hard yet. Not yet. I'm sure he's there. A lot somewhere. of grass. Oh! Missed, missed that. One more. <laughs> it's fun. I, I like the randomized more, actually, because you're not memorizing what's coming. You're just reacting. Ah! ah I hate that thing. Thrust made a very good point about the six digit score. It's like, mm hmm. 
No. No. <laughs> hey, how long would you have to play? Oh my goodness, that's A so fast. A long time in the hard mode. One. <laughs> so would you get one point for every screen? Because the <sighs> the grass on? is is the same. It's like one screen. Love that mouse. Every screen, so it's like every two items almost. Depending. One to two. Yeah. Because he's doubled up. Uh, some of the items. He's got uh, <laughs> seagulls. And I love it. Turns its head. Very VHZC. Where things turn around. Great banner. No checkpoints in this because you only nope. have one life. You just keep going. Nope. Ah! Oh, face I, full of chain. I went down and hit the button at the it's same time. little piece of grass there. Yeah. Sitting on the game over. That's fun. How do you love a chain? <laughs> Is the score stored in BCD? Kind of like the change between normal and random in uh, Tower of Rubble. Complete mm. changes the game. Yeah, Tower of Rubble randomization. Yeah. It's deadly. Yeah. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Do we play randomization? I don't know if we did. I think um he mentioned he I don't think we've done it since that update. I don't think we have. He mentioned he was putting that in. He did. He did put it in. And I played it. And it's really hard. Yeah. Like you're gonna die. Um excellent. Great update. The graphics are mind blowing. It's really fun. Really great. Yeah. Um just the variety's great. Yeah. Just need more, more variety, no. even more. No, it's I enough. like the randomization. I like. I mean, oh, yeah, of the main, the the normal level, you could add more, 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 more. Well, yeah, right? you need to because it repeats. But but the randomization is really fun, and that chain, the chains, the chains, good. Boom. You got to keep that in there. <laughs> and maybe a a sound effect, like add a sound effect for each of the different types mm -hmm. of things. Like the chain can make a sound effect. The little jumping slimes. Yep. Um. Because don't those that, don't have it? Everything, everything. It, the only sound effect is you jumping. I think so. Yeah. Right. It's only the only sound effect right now is you jumping. Yeah. yeah. Although the chain coming down. And running. There's a. T -t 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 yeah. So you're only using one channel, so you definitely have. Well, room. it's not that everything needs to have a sound effect, oh, but maybe. the chain should have a big clunk. <laughs> yeah, like grass doesn't make sound. No. Like the bullet could when it goes. Yeah, just, there's uh, there's space there to add some of that stuff in. It's pretty fun. I like it. I duck. like it a lot. It's good. I want to see the different... Come up with different sounds. Let's see. Because <laughs> it can get annoying if you put too many sounds in. Like grass. Yep, that's a reprieve. <laughs> Seems to be uh, heavily weighed on grass. That yeah, is the that sound. Yeah, that does the that, sound. Yeah. Yeah. So some things the do. The things that sort of appear... I mean, that's that's something you can put in last. If, if it's something you want to add, yeah. Yeah, mushrooms don't make sense. <laughs> really? Mushrooms are noisy? They can be. Ugh, the duck. Mm -hmm. It's like you. Okay. Oh, they can't see it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's forget when I switch back? Um, mm hmm so we're going to move on to the next game, which is Robot City, um, mm. which is a minor update that Thomas did to it recently, um, which is the way you fire. Press the button. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, yeah. this is pretty much the last version. Nobody's said anything since it's been put out that, oh, there's an issue mm. or, and um, yeah, sorry, no video. We were just looking at sounds, so it wasn't too, too imperative. <laughs> Is this good to go? Uh, yeah. Oh, what was that? No signal. Whoa, you're not seeing oh, what we're seeing. I think it might have been a zip file. Oh, funny. That's Loading awesome. zip files, and it's no good. No bueno. So... Let's fix that. Yeah, the <laughs> the update um, be before you could fire in the only in the direction that you were moving in, mm. um, which which is fine. 
And um, just one second. Robot City. There we go. But now he's added. I don't know if I made this request or somebody else made the request um, that you change that you can also sit still and fire, mm. which technically I don't think it. You need it, but I don't think you need it. I don't think you can actually even use it. Really? Um, because they always go towards you, and I think the only way you can fire is if you're chasing them. Mm. But um, it's a nice addition anyway. We'll find it out. Oh, I did in detail. <laughs> Press button. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who requested it in detail. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, ah, uh. pull it down. Yeah. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Destroyed. Wrecked everything. Initialization error. Oh, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. Just maybe pull the whole cartridge out or something? Uh, unlikely. No. Because it is booting. Okay. I've seen that before. Okay, hold it down. Yep. Just being, uh, a, uh, being a troublemaker. There we go. There we go. It's just being a troublemaker. Nice. Uh, you've got it. Yeah, that's okay. pretty. So uh, there is different levels of skill. I don't know if you can do it with the joystick. No. Oh. Mm -mm. All that. Um, we'll start. Do you remember playing this? I don't remember playing okay, this. Well, but... we'll start you on level one then, because that's a good idea. Okay. Should be able to start with the button. Oh, okay. You have to shoot them from behind. You can't shoot them up front because they've got a, a protective shield. Um, so you have to kind of chase them and shoot them. Does that make sense? There you go. Now don't run into them because they will kill you. I'm faster than them, which is a good thing. For now. <laughs> Just like in Pac-Man, I believe it's they speed up. Yeah, the artwork is incredible, and I've got some notes passed to me from Thomas just before the um, show started. Um, said, nice to see the uh, Robot City label on the screen, because he just posted that not too long ago with this final update. He said, David Exton made it. Uh, he was inspired by the work of John Harris. And um, I'll send you the link, or people can check, check out the link. Quite a long one, so people watching later won't be able to uh, click on it. But people watching now will be. Nuts. There you go. Do they come back to life? Crazy Link. Uh, ooh, in different versions they do. Um, oh, I ran into them. Whoops. Yep. In the harder versions, uh, level four and five, they can rescue each other. So if they touch the other person, um, if they touch one of their friends, gotcha. they can bring it back to life, which is really terrible. Mm. It's really, really hard. Like level five is unbelievably hard. Um, So he's posted on April 27th, oh. which this is from. <laughs> That's a terrible mistake. Oh my god, it's being really slow. So this was first posted August 15th, 2002. So this is probably the longest game development time of any game, <laughs> any homebrew out 2002? there. 2002? Okay, yeah, eight, that is a little while. Almost, by the time it gets released, maybe 18 years. Well worth the wait, though. <laughs> um, it's a 4K game. Lots of fun packed into this 4K. Uh, other games he's made, Star Castle Arcade, Toy, Toy Shop Trouble, 
Uh, Boulder Dash, Swoops, Mini Game Collection, Jam, Starfire the Stacks, a ton of trackball hacks, Ram Pong, which is also coming very soon, I've heard rumors, uh, Robot City, and Three Dots. Um, he said, uh, with the help of Omega Matrix, thanks a lot, I found the necessary 15 bytes for making the PAL-60 uh, PAL version of this stable as well. Uh, release candidate A8 added to the first post. Unless somebody finds a bug, I consider this done. Many thanks to everyone for your support. Yay, now you did it. Now for the next level. Uh, do the enemy shields remain where they're destroyed as obstacles? Yes, uh, they do. So you can't run into them. So they kind of turn into a full circle. The, the tank is destroyed. See, when they bump into each other, they turn around as well. So when you destroy the tank from behind, the tank disappears and it just turns into a full... Oh, run away. A full circle of shield. So it... It does matter where you shoot it, because it kind of blocks uh, your... Yeah, you're I'm screwed. Fairly screwed. Maybe not, but most likely. No. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, just missed it. Keep going. No, no, no that's okay. Um, Scott of the Hall says, I know a game similar to this. Yeah. Wow, speaking of which. Um, Janzel posted April 25th. Uh, nice to see an Atari VCS for release for Robot City, which was originally created by Graham Thomason for the Philips Video Pack, as most here probably know. Funny story, I met Graham when I was about 12 years old. He worked at Philips in uh, Eindhoven in the Netherlands at the Philips Special Products Group. This group was mainly set up to develop games for the Video Pack. Luckily for me, uh, an uncle of mine was working in the office right next to the game developers. Once That's I found cool. that out, I designed a game on paper and asked my uncle to give it to them. Mm. Apparently, they were pleasantly surprised by my initiative, and they sent me a letter inviting me to come visit. How I wish I still had that letter. The happy day arrived, and I spent an afternoon at the developer's office, and they showed me the games they were working on. I still remember they were working on three of the four Parker games. Popeye, Super Cobra, and Qbert. Frogger was being developed, developed elsewhere. Somewhere else. Um, after their visit, they asked me if I wanted to be a beta tester for their new games. You can guess my answer. They sent me <laughs> EEPROMs and those carts you have to insert into them. I was a tester for all three Parker games. A game wow. uh, called The Black Hole, that which was exciting. yeah, which later became Neutron Star and Robot City. Um, and Robot City. So he was the beta tester for the original Robot City. They gave me sh sheets with questions that I had to fill in and send back. I had to return everything and not never got any kind of reward or thank you, except some great memories. Mm. Skip to 2010. I run the video. I run the website videopack.nl. Through the site's contact form, I received a message with the subject "free video pack stuff." It was from Graham telling me he was getting rid of all his development stuff. He was looking for a good home for it. Of course, I offered my home. I took an email or two until we realized that we had met in 1982-ish. I flew to London with no. an empty suitcase and returned with a lot of video pack prototype games. Might be the exact EEPROMs I tested as a kid. Of course, it included the Robot City prototypes. In 2017, me and a friend released Robot City for the video pack um, because I don't think it got released originally. Mm. I did the box art and layout. I still consider Robot City to be one of the be better, best games for the video pack, and I'm happy I was able to help make it circle complete. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. So maybe it's time for vari Variation 2 or 3? One is for kids. Mm. Have you mastered one? This is not that hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're done then. Finish this level and we'll go to 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very, very easy. <laughs> when it's for kids. There you go. Try it on three. All so right. there's more oh, enemies. Oh, that's a lot. Four enemies. They don't rescue each other, I don't believe. But four is Lord. four is very challenging because they're all over the place. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa, you just narrowly avoided that one. Yeah, that's... Okay, get that one at the top. At the top? How? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, we didn't come down. There you go. 
the I'd go for the loner guy first. Uh, Ooh, run, run, run. Oh, because you have to. They have to be facing away from you. And once they're facing away from you, they're easy to get. Yeah. But you have to be careful of long uh, hallways. hallways because you, it takes a long time to get there and then turn around. Sprites look great. The cop to the movement, the robot tanks, uh, iBots, and the game sounds like the energy sound. So, yeah, the helicopter, if I'm correct, is made with the uh, one of the missiles. Um, maybe one of the missiles? It's not the ball, because the play field is a different color. I think it's one of the missiles, he said. And the retro computer font is nice and matches with the general design as well. Yes, very good uh, font for the score. Uh, the artwork could be the cover of the first album. Robot City would be a great name for a Oh, band. he shot his own guy. They you shoot each other. Oh, yes, that's another mechanic. It's very hard to make them do that because you have to be in line with two other ones. And the chances of you being in line with two others and not being open is, is so low. Yeah, this one's going to be oh, tough because you have to kind of lead him up. He I'm always goes trapped. after you almost. Use that uh, little circle down there to get him. One of those side circles. Now you, you can do it. Just Oh, oh he's going to turn, turn around. around. Oh! Oh, there you go. Get him. Get him. So they can't turn around completely. They can only, like, they can't do a 180. Oh, oh lucky. Kind of. I can see where your your fuel. Uh... Oh yeah, has anybody tried that phrase in Atari Vox? Robot City. <laughs> <laughs> the miss. Oh yes, the missile with flickering green <laughs> from the blue, <laughs> blue tank color. Where are you going, buddy? Oh. <laughs> you nailed it with the score fonts. The little things that really yeah. finish the game. Yep. Yeah. No. Chicken fight no. like a robot tank. <laughs> he trapped me. Oh, yeah. You have to be very careful uh, that you don't well, trap yourself. Delicious. So that's very cool that um, the original beta tester for Robot City and the person who released it um, posted in the nice. thread for to. Robot City. Got him to kill the other guy? Yeah, but now I've now this is very challenging. I can't get to where he is, so I have to wait until he comes out, which is not good on my Pretty fuel. Much. No, not but you've got a fuel. bunch, and that's for score, not for level. But. Yeah, you can definitely get them to shoot each other. Because they're, right, they're both, because they're both going to be heading towards you. So that means Which one way? of them is there open from behind. There you go. It is hard getting them in the tight corners, though. There we go. Yeah, yeah. you did it. <laughs> We last played this November 29th, 2019. Oh, he just got me. This is awkward. This is one life left. One. Very, very awkward. I don't find this level too bad, except on some mazes, because it's randomized, I believe, the mazes. Yeah. And some of them are much harder than others. Yeah. Especially ones with long hallways. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a way out. <laughs> there, there, there. Oh. There. Oh. I'm trying to get them to shoot each other. Yeah, because they're both in the same area and blocked off from you. I don't know how the AI works in this. They generally head towards you. I don't know. But, like, you were right in line with them, so we didn't know which way to go, down or up. I don't know if they necessarily head towards you. Um, pretty sure they uh, they do. If they see you, you mean? Otherwise, no. it's random, or it seems random. It's, it seems a little random because they can't turn around properly. Um, oh come on! Oh, I can't get them fast enough. There, there you we go. go. That took a little while. Do you want to play? Yes. Gain a life? Do you get a life each level? Is it points? I can't remember. Really hasn't been a comprehensive uh, instructions put out. Ooh, you uh, yeah. Put out for this. It's tight. Oh, 
level five. Yeah, it shows the level that you're on just before it. Uh, oh, oh God! Yeah, this guy. is a weird. Um, do you want to play? Uh, oh, you only have one life left, so I'll wait till you're done. Ah, you got it. Go down. There's a whole world in there. There you go. Again, 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 again. Down. Just stay there. Yeah, too late. <laughs> uh, oh, you're in trouble. Screwed. Can't get past there. Oh, don't turn towards me. <sighs> get out of there. Oh, now you're I'm really screwed. Oh, it doesn't hit your blades. Or maybe you just got really... No, oh, shoot him. Oh, I can't shoot you and can. move. You can. No, but I the moment I turned, I hit it. I wasn't pushing forward at all. The update he did is you hold the button down. Okay. Oh, you can hold it and not move. And gotcha. Not move. In that one particular case... That would have helped me, but I didn't realize. Helped. Okay. I didn't but you have to it... hold it down. Yeah, you have to stop moving, yeah. hold it down, and then you can... But I want to go to level four. Yeah. I can do three sure. most of the time. And I'm going to run out and grab more coffee and come back. Okay. Bye-bye. Right Keep my caffeine up. <laughs> they can shoot them from the front. I thought they could only shoot their each other from behind. Whoa. I think they can rescue each other because they're not dead in this level. Oh, this one is bad. Bad, 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 bad. This one's very bad. Oh, I should get to the bottom. I should lure this guy up. Oh, I don't think I'm going to survive this maze. Almost certain. Oh, now I've screwed myself there. Oh, boy. Only if I get that guy down, then I can survive. Come on. There we go. Oh, my God. But I'm still going to die. Oh, go down. Damn it. No. Laser is super strong, even against their own shield. Yes, it is. Okay, now I need to head down there. Maybe I can get them to shoot each other up here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Come on, shoot each other here. You go down, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Good. Now he's going to rescue him, right? That was pointless. At least they're all divided up now. No, he's gonna rescue him. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, can I get this guy in time? Oh, don't go that way! Up there! Damn it! Oh, no, 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 no. Now that guy, guy's gonna rescue that guy. Unless, unless, unless. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Good. If I can get the red guy and quickly get the green guy. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Go that way. Yeah. Okay. Run, 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 run. No, I'm in trouble. He's going to hit him and turn around and then come back. God. At least I didn't block my way here. And that guy should go stay up and not go down and rescue his blue friend. Yeah. Good. That green guy may or may not rescue his friend there. Can get the orange. If I hurry. Yep. Okay. Oh. This is the level I really have trouble with. I don't know how I'm going to get those guys at all. Get them to shoot each other? No! Oh, my God. This maze is brutal. I can't get that guy to turn around. And I'm running out of time. And... can't do anything here. Locked my exit here. Yeah, I'm dead. Yep, yep, I know. I'm dead. I'm dead. Come this way. Nope. Oh. oh, damn it. So close. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. He's going to rescue his friend, though. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Can't get to him in time. Maybe. Maybe. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. The last, last second. Oh my god, that was lucky. Oh my god, that was terrible. It was terrible. 
How was that for an ending? That was a good ending <laughs> to a level. <laughs> Shoot them. Ooh, that is good. Shoot them. Oh, but they rescued them. See, that's no fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, Esther Maris. Strategically planned. Now, on this seemingly easier level, that's more open, I'm not doing as well. Because it's more open? Kind of, I guess there's kind of a balance between a level being open, too open, and a level being too closed off. They're hard and... Oh my god. Of course, I'm not playing... I didn't play that very well. So this one's kind of a medium, where it's kind of open and kind of closed off. There we go. Ah, run, run! Okay, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up. Oh, there's too many of them. Shoot. Oh my god. Oh. No bonus points. Well, it's probably better to survive a level. Maybe I can just get them to shoot each other here. Lure them out. Oh, how did it go? Oh, that was great, uh, James. Something good must have happened there. Ooh. Oh, oh. Um, it was crazy. I, I completed the level in the seriously the last second. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, he's going up. Oh my god, why did he choose Lucky. to go up? Lucky. I, I, they're not that smart. <laughs> Sometimes. Just because you're a robot okay. doesn't mean you're intelligent. Now I need him to go down. Down here. And then I can complete the level. Come on, down, down, down. Good. Now just pick one of these paths. There we go. Hooray! Yay! Good job! Oh no, this level again. Oh, it's brutal. Yeah, okay. it's all one ways, right? Okay, I need you to go to the left here. Left? Oh, you bastard! Okay, are you gonna come up all the way? And then I See if shoot you can get you? them to shoot each other. Uh, I have to be down there to do that. That's awful. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Be very, very strategic. Yeah. Kill this red you guy. Gotta get the red get guy out of there as quickly as humanly possible. Okay, down. Come on, down, 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 down. Oh my God. Oh okay. no, get him. That's that works. But then they they free him. they free each other. I gotta get him oh. to rescue him and then kill him. Oh, and he won't. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna come straight for you. And I'm dead, unless he chooses the wrong way. Go the wrong way. Nope. <laughs> Now yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, this is a crazy level. Well, that crazy same level, level again? Bug or coincidence? Yeah. Uh, no, it's because I died and this is another game. Ugh. So I think, unless you've got something in the game where it's on a I do wonder loop if or... there's some kind of magical thing where you can get them to shoot each other. Uh, because like at that level... Here I that... can. Well, they have to be facing me. See, the only way out I'm going to do Oh, oh no. went up too far. That was that was not terrible though. No, I would have. Oh, now this is good. Now I wouldn't you have survived because I would have blocked. Side. I would have blocked myself. In. Yeah, get them to shoot each other. Yeah, then they're they gonna free. Oh, uh, that's true. Oh, this guy's coming down. Uh, not it's too all bad. About the speed. And this guy, get up. Ah. Uh. Oh, he went down good. Oh, he's going to rescue that dude. Oh, this is the big problem with level four. Can you shoot through him? Uh, yeah, but he's going to be at his front. Oh. Oh, almost. Uh, come on. Cat bum. And he's rescued. <laughs> it just seems, what makes it's it so, so defeating this level. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm almost done, but then yeah, he's coming after you. Oh, I have to wait for the boat. That to whole come down. that whole maze is like useless. You almost. Yeah. It's really really challenging. I need this guy to come down. Come down here. Oh no, I was too close. Oof. Ooh. Okay, now what? Now what is the question? Come, keep going. Keep going. Good. Okay. I need that red guy to go up. Up here, up, up. Oh, that doesn't help. 
If I can get him to go to the right, and then I can follow him as quickly as possible. Go to the right, go to the right. Yep. Oh, no. Now no you right. have to chase. He has to chase you through the maze. Oh, oh. stupid uh, yay! robot. Yay, stupid robots. Um, ah, you get the same sequence of levels unless you go back to the title screen. Hmm. Hmm. I found the harder levels are either very open or very closed. Mm -hmm. So they appear at higher levels. See, this is the one that I... This Not, is quite open. This one I died on. This is quite open because you have to keep there's an no eye hiding. on all four of them yeah, because they're, they're going to shoot you. There's no hiding. Yeah. There is definitely something to getting them to shoot each other. <sighs> oh, they shoot through each other, though, which is really obnoxious. Yeah, they don't block each other. Okay. okay green. Get them. There you go. And just rescue them. That's true. <laughs> Oh, this is so open. Oh. Okay, come down. Come down, come down, come down. There you go. Oh, you bastard. Okay, I might be able to get this. Let's see. There we go. No. <laughs> Stay dead. Yay! Yay! <laughs> That's right. I think level five is there faster. Mm. I think. Mm. Bunch in a row here. There we go. That is a very good tactic. Oh, damn it. Didn't see that guy. Okay, we're going to go to level five. Okay. Try it out. Uh, die really quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's a nice middle ground. Yeah, they're faster. Look at them go. Yeah, they're really fast. So they're faster than you are. So are you they? Be, no. Uh, maybe are they the about same. the same? Because you could catch up to them. Oh. Uh, and maybe the shots are faster oh, too. Oh, little cat, so happy over here. You can't see him. Oh no, I didn't change it. It's okay. You can see him slightly, ever so slightly. He's here. Yeah. He's a happy kitty. Oh god. Apparently he's a fan of Robot City. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Hey, Al. Uh, you get the same. Is that intentional? Mm. I guess it, yeah, it makes sense of levels. because you want to start off on the easier levels. Like, this is an easy level in terms of maze outline. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Get out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Oh! No! Why are they turning around so much? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, I can maybe get this. They're I'm... fast. Okay, you go oh, up. Go no. to the right. Go no. to the right. Go to the right. Yeah. Yes. I got it. There That's, we go. Oh my god. Woo. This is so oh no, this one's very open. This one's really, really open. Mm. I think their shots are faster. Mm. Oh boy. Maybe. Oh boy. Oh. Good, but Shoot he's gonna be rescued. Oh. Last one. Last one? Level two. No, I I'm dead. Oh. Starting over? Oh, and you get less lives. You only get two lives as well. Mm. So really hard. Yeah, to, challenging. I'll play one more game. I will not do as well. It's a cute game. It's, it's unbelievable for a 4K game. So this is the final-ish version of it. So I've been, I've been keeping track a little bit. I should write them down, but there's a bunch of games on the roster that are poised to come out very soon um, from Atari age. Oh, you freed is, him. Uh, I'm dead. I'm oh, dead yeah. from two angles. Oof. And this is one of them. Um, some more games. Hmm? I'm just trying to think of all the games that are, that are completed now. Because I'm sure... And there's a bunch of manuals being worked on. Oh no, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, green. Oh no! 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 <laughs> I should demonstrate now the two methods of firing. One is you're already moving, and you shoot in the direction you're moving. The second one is you stop, hold down the button, then you can pick. Oh, let's go in three directions. Then you can pick which direction you're firing. And that's useful for when you were in that spot where. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. 
You should have gone there. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> you're talking, where you so don't, it's hard. <laughs> where you don't want to move, which would kill yes. you because you're running into them. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't want to accidentally, because they're moving quite slow. So yeah. you want to... And I, a couple of times I accidentally killed myself just from moving too close. Like moving instead of just shooting. Yeah. yeah. So that's useful when you're kind of going around a corner mm. and you're following them close. Like mm. you go there and then you pull down the button and shoot them. Mm. Rather than following them, which would push yeah. you into the robot. Oh, my God, yes. <coughs> and, Excuse me. Very challenging. And, Very challenging. And the variety of difficulty is really good. Yes, like, it is, because like starting level off... level one, no problem. But it's good to start at level one if you yeah. haven't played it, because you get a feel for what the tactics are and how to outrun them and how to chase yes. them. And how to you, kill and them. And so it makes a lot yeah. of sense to start there and yep. then ramp it up. And, yeah, as you yeah. say, the ramping up of, of the difficulty... This is more than challenging yeah. for probably just it's about really anyone. Good. Yeah. Like, I, I'm surprised that's that I actually completed a level. I don't think I've ever completed a level in level five. So, conceptually, Robot City is an old game. Very old game. Yeah. From... But never was on was the that? Atari, or was no. it... Was it no. Okay. Yeah. This was on the F Philips uh, system. Phil Philips system, because you were making that... Um, yeah. Yeah. Philips video pack. Talking about that. Yeah. Um, when did he say... He didn't say the date. When I was about 12 years old. Yeah. But you can probably place it. I, uh, oh, 1982. 82. So this was originally made in 1982. Wow. Never released in 1982. Okay. Then it, um, it was only on prototype. And then the person who did the testing mm -hmm. did release it in 2017. And now it... And uh, mm. Thomas Yench saw it. And will... Um, and finished it off. And he, he started that in 2002. Yeah. And it's now a it's, slow process, but so, that's cool. So they kind of parallel each other. Yeah. <laughs> Where the video pack version took a long time. Yeah. And this one also oh, it took, took it a took long a time to come yeah. to fruition. But uh, well worth the wait. It's, in a, mm. it's conceptually easy to understand a game, but challenging. I like games like that. And the the variations of games are quite different. Um, like you have two to four tanks you're going against. Mm -hmm. Also the variation of whether they can rescue each other as well, which adds a whole different dimension of you have to lead them away yeah. from the other tanks. I yeah. mean, you're too busy surviving trying to... Yeah. 2002 is a 1K version. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, They're fast. Listening to my headphones now, really love the sounds. Nothing is harsh. Yeah, very... No simple yeah. not overbearing sound no don't think really you just have the helicopter noise yeah, and, and you have the shooting and that's it it's and it's simple. a very nice subtle sound yeah it's a little bit quieter than the than the that's nice the shooting which is good it's at a good level and you're yeah. already screwed it's very very unless you're <laughs> really actively thinking yeah level no you five, do you have to be done. looking at the maze and thinking about where are my save points like where can i where yes. can i hide? yes this is a 4k game yeah which is incredible to yeah. pack all that kind of ai yeah and variations yeah. Um, into the 4k yeah and mazes and sounds into it it uh, and also keeping track of five objects on the screen at the same time and he's able to i think he did um i mean it's 30 hertz flicker on this one because the enemies are two enemies are player zero and two enemies are player one mm. um so he's able to do uh, 30 hertz flicker and he keeps it steady constant well he doesn't turn it on and off depending on where they are it, no i like the fact that it's steady and constant yeah. and it gives it a consistency um and and there's something about the flicker that kind of fits with the whole feel of the game too. because the may the um, everything's moving right everything's moving yeah and also their shield is always changing it's, it's moving yeah so you don't notice the flicker on their shield no and well I, you notice it but it, it makes sense yeah. like it feels it feels good yeah. and i think he's used luma boost as well for the colors okay. so the colors when you want to use like a 30 hertz flicker you kind of and you kind of uh, pump up the color mm. of it because when it's only going at 30 you and need it needs to be brighter it needs to be brighter yeah. so that okay. it reduces down yeah, that makes automatically sense. Yeah. yeah okay 
awesome, 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 awesome game. And when when I discovered it and played it on the show, it got Thomas excited for it again <laughs> because the developers want they they want feedback because if nobody's saying anything, yeah. Um, you don't know what's working. You yeah. don't know what's not working. You don't even know how people are playing the game, mm -hmm. whether it's the right style or, or even the, um, how hard it is or easy it is. It's like, oh, are the controls good? Is it too hard on the hardest? Is it too easy on the easiest? Yeah. Or like, where does it ramp up? And so a lot of people got playing it again. Yeah, nice. And, and we showed it on the show so he could see directly how people are playing it. And now it's, now it's, going to be put out yeah, and that's, that's awesome. just really exciting yeah that uh that can happen yep um so we're going to move on to the third game larry the lemon by chris reed aka atari 2600 land there you go mm -hmm. oh ba basically since it was a 1k compo game originally there's no space for anything mm. else oh very cool I like the flicker management. Never all solid is good because going all solid stands out too much. Press button. Yeah, because if you keep changing uh, oh, yeah, the look of it, it goes solid, then mm. it goes flashing. It's like a little distracting. Mm. And the 30 hertz is fine. I like it so when it's no con need. continuous because yeah. you really notice it when it's somewhat solid and then suddenly you're, multiple things are in one line and then they start flickering. Yeah. So it definitely makes it look a bit more put together when and it's consistent and consistent yeah. yeah if you just stick with the flickering i think but yeah i mean some of the advanced i noticed that at least that some of the more I advanced like. games where like uh some of the champ games where there's like 20 people on one line <laughs> yeah you have to flicker and you have to have the management are you switched and now excellent larry the lemon nice. there's like little lemons at yeah, the bottom little lemons Very i cute. like the title screen the colors it's got a little bit of music so this was first posted uh, November 29th, 2013 in the Atari Age forums. Okay. This build is from May 28th, 2015, so five years ago. Mm. It's a 2K game. Um, you can start it. I don't really have... Oh, I do have instructions. I'm a lemon. There's a banana. Uh, yep. What's the X? Banana looks bad. I think you have to collect all the Xs. Oh, oh, oh. Bean. Ooh. It's got a little bit of, a little bit oh, of smarts he going he, on. He mirrors you. Oh, does he? Does he change when you change? <gasps> oh. oh. Um, what? What's other games on? that uh, Atari 2600 Land has made. Billy the Ball, Castle of Doom, Dr. Flynn and His Pills, Isaiah's, Isaiah's Wee Chase, Jack and the Beanstalk, Killer Bees, Kirby 2600, Larry the Lemon, One Button Bob, Mid Space, Super Mario Sisters, Whitewater Madness, plus a thousand other games. Um, you can download this uh, from the Atari Age forums. Um, so his first post about this is says, I finally got this stupid thing working after spending all night last night on it and no success. I tried again today and after a few hours I got finally got the thing up and working. Inspired by one of the status updates, this is a game about a guy going shopping. Uh, when the game is complete, presents will appear and your job is to get them and not run into the enemy, which I haven't decided what it is quite yet. Looks I, like a banana to me. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> this is when he first started though. Um, I doubt I can fit this in oh. 2K, so I'll probably do four. He ended up fitting it in two. He's getting close. Well, he doesn't. He he runs He's at your speed, you. so basically. Don't make a mistake. Yeah, and and I hesitated, and he got a little closer. Ooh. It's it actually just continues like he he always stays the exact same distance behind you. Oh, it's the so, same speed. Yeah, as, long um, as you don't mess it up then right now though you can control the shop with the joystick the movement is like pac-man which i don't know why it took so long to do mm -hmm. um from chris reed's website uh larry the lemon his website's atari 2600 land.com when la life hands you lemons you guide them through a maze <laughs> larry the lemon is a real pickle it seems he can't go around collecting coins without having without having buried the banana on his tail the <laughs> oh that was Did the you end. die Nope. Or you collected them all. 38? 3B? That's a funny font. Um, anyway, Larry has a finite amount of time to collect as many coins as he can. Yes, so you just keep collecting. But if you touch Barry the banana, you'll lose three seconds off the clock. Oh, okay, that makes sense. The coin location will change, so will yours and Barry's. How many coins can you can Larry get? It's up to you. And luckily for you... Can you play it again? Mm-hmm. Um... And luckily for you, you have something Barry doesn't have, the power of citrus. 
It builds up throughout the game, and the citrus power meter is the black bar at the lower left side of the screen. To use some of it, just press the big red button on your controller. It's that simple, is it or is it? Try to conserve it or else you'll find yourself back at the beginning a lot and nowhere near well, now a coin. He's, now he's being more... Now he's just on my tail. Press the button. What? What? Don't, Sorry, don't, say that again? Well, don't stop. Press the button when he's on your tail. Oh, so he can... Well, move. Keep moving. No, I am keep... You stopped and pressed the button. No, but I mean, actually, the easiest thing to do is to have him on your tail and just continually get presents. Oh, okay. It, it is actually the easiest <laughs> thing to do because he follows you closely. Oh, I see. So you're that's, not... And that's what happened last time. He, he got close enough. He wasn't... He was just following me. Mm. He doesn't take any, any alternative... Oops. Yeah, any alternative paths. That was by far the easiest hack to... See, he takes an alternative, but if he's really close to you... Try to conserve it or else be finding uh, other features include playing in a black and white and a title screen that randomly change colors every so often. So go, get out there and get rich. Uh, programmed by Chris Reed. Thanks to Atari Age member Bogax for helping me shorten the code a lot so it fit into 2K. Thanks to Atari Age member The Loon for designing the banana sprite. The banana's pretty close. Pretty cute. 14. Uh, more info in... Uh, so Arena Fud let me know that this is actually covered in his book. Nice. Um, the Atari... 2600 Homebrew Companion, Volume 2, on page 105. It's actually bizarre. Uh, so, what does it say? Larry the Lemon is a 2015 release programmed by Chris Reed. Additional program been done by Bogax and Jason Santucci. A mock label was designed by Chris Reed, which is the label that we have up there now. This homebrew is currently distributed for free. No cartridges, manuals, or boxes have ever been made. But there is uh, a possibility that this will be coming out on cartridge soon. It is unknown if this title will ever be printed on cart and sold. The full ROM version 43 and source code have been publicly released and be found on Atari Age forums and on Chris Reed's website. Number players, one label here is by Earl Green. Oh, thank you, Packrat. I believe it's being released through you, this one. Um, throughout, I suppose says, I was surprised that Asteroids in Yard's Revenge uses Flicker. Yard's Revenge uses Flicker? They use it very well, then. Um, but Asteroids, you can really tell when there's a lot of Asteroids on the screen. Um, the object of Lair the Lemon is to get the coin. Blinking Cross. It's many times as possible within 30 seconds. Does it have a countdown clock? Oh, it does. Yes. It's so got it's 31. Did you get 38? Left. 38. I did really well really that time. Really well the first time. Because he was on my tail the whole time. Ah, so you didn't have to ever turn around. Oh, you tied your score. Just get one more. One more. Oh. One more. Where's Yay, the, where's you the beat timer? It. Bottom left. Oh, but it, it's... It's, you a, can't really... it's a lemon font. The zeros yeah, are lemons. <laughs> So it, it's just the bar on the left? No, I, the bar is your power that you oh, can stop them with. Oh, the citrus. Where was the timer? In the middle. Oh, okay. So if you want to continue yep. reading from there, sure. I will try and beat your 40. The object of Larry the Lemon? Um, yeah. You used to start from the top there. Okay. The object of Larry the Lemon is to get the coin blinking cross as many times as possible within 30 seconds without being touched by Barry the Banana. It is easier with him on your tail. Larry has to work his way through a maze to find the coin. After getting the coin, another will appear somewhere else in the maze. At the same time, Barry is chasing Larry throughout the maze. To counter Barry, Larry has a citrus buildup, which is shown as a gray bar at the bottom of the screen. Using the citrus by pressing the fire button will cause Barry to freeze in his spot until the button is let go. Oh, okay, I was tapping it, but if you hold it, he will freeze. Right. But or might. the citrus runs out. One point is awarded for each coin that is caught, but three seconds are deducted from your time each time Barry touches you. After the game is over, 30 seconds are up, your score is shown below the title on the title screen. Press the fire button to begin a new game. Options. Game reset. Switch returns to title screen. The TV type, black and white or color. Switch will actually change the colors of the game from color to black and white. Mm. Game select and it's difficulty unusual. switches are not used. And then the controls are pretty straightforward. I don't know if I need to go through that. No. It is somewhat easier if he stays fairly close to you. 100% easier if he's on However, your tail. However, if he's he he will sometimes duck down a side alley. So basically, you want uh, him close enough. Oh, yeah. He did. So he will he will kind of. 
But the further away he gets, the oh more my likely God. he is to do that. He has to be really close to you to follow you. Yes. Which is, which makes him a little bit more, you know, interesting, unpredictable. Um, yeah. It's pretty funny. I love it. <laughs> this the is lemon probably the, the first game that you want him. Want the enemy close, close. not too close, but <laughs> close. You want to have a little bit of breathing room because if yeah. you accidentally pause, then he'll hit you immediately. But you're at 35 all year. Doing pretty well already. I made some mistakes, so I can do better. Five. Yeah, I, I, I definitely made some mistakes. I know Especially I can at the beat beginning. my 40 or whatever. You just need to sit there till he gets close and then move. And then move, yeah. Oh, doing well, 42. It's not too bad. But the further away he gets, the more... Um, it's hard to predict where he's going to go. Yes. You want him really close. Yeah. Like that, that's the perfect distance. He yeah. continues to follow you. He doesn't duck down his side. 48. Good job. You yeah. Try and beat it? Yeah, sure. Let's see if I can do that. Hello, better. Ding Cuckoo. Welcome. <laughs> uh, we'll release via Pack Rat later this year. There we go. So it is coming out. No, no. Oh, Let him fine. come to you. But his AI is pretty good. It's pretty like, interesting. Like for chasing you, it's it's not it's not entirely predictable. Like he he turns around, which is which is not too common. Um, oh, Janzel! Oh, welcome. So that is, uh, Ding Cuckoo is Janzel, who mm. was talking about the robot tank. Or the, let's see, I was called a robot tank. That's a different game by, Acti <laughs> by Activision. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I have it over there. Oh, and it's very, nice. very hard. Is it? <laughs> to yeah. get your patches for it. Um, the robot City. Um, so that's very cool. Welcome. Uh, the enemy needs a little randomness. Oh, no, he can be, but he's close enough that he's not so random. I, You know what yeah. would make this better? What? If he was slightly faster than you. That would be very challenging. Because you would have to, like, keep him off. That could be the hard level. Yeah. Because as it is now, like, I went through almost the whole game with just him following you. Yeah. And it's all about optimizing your path to the next, the next uh, square next uh, cross really yeah. but with him being a uh, quite a bit fast like not even just slightly maybe a little bit faster than you um you would have to keep him away from you you'd be forced to keep him away from you and you wouldn't be able to do this trick so i think just changing that one variable mm -hmm. in the game would make it a lot or like It'd every once in a every once in a while he makes a random turn or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I no, I think his AI is really good. I think it is. What from a distance is the AI is very unpredictable. Oh, Thirty-seven. Yeah, I screwed up a little in the beginning. Was slow to get him in where where I needed him. It's good though. It's fun. Okay. <sighs> so. I don't think he needs to be faster. I I do. I, I, I think he just needs to take the odd. Oh my god. Yeah, he needs to take the odd. I'm resetting. <laughs> random movements mm. and be a little bit more unpredictable because once he's on your tail you just you just snake right yeah you have to get him that yes he's not quite the right that now he's really close that was fun. I didn't and you can him. use the citrus to slow him ever so slightly so he's a yeah, little bit further so you can adjust him a bit but once you get him that right distance then you're just you're just it's it's as you say it's the path optimization yeah and sometimes I miss turns, like, that's what I notice, is sometimes mm. I take a slight, Ooh, slightly a wrong one. turn, and that, Three in a row. Yeah, that slows you down a bit, but... It's funny. Yeah. I think... Mm. He's saved some programming by... You see how the crosses appear yeah. on the screen? Yep. Maybe not. You think there's pattern? I th Not a pattern. But the way they push out from the maze... Mm. No, they always push out from the maze. Mm -hmm. I thought he was placing them randomly on the screen. Oh, that one didn't push out. And then they it's like auto-sensing whether it should move to the left or right. Oh, really? Um, to Maybe. be available by going, oh, am I colliding mm. with 
a piece of the play field. Interesting. Oh. Came up behind you. Yeah. I love the banana. <laughs> <laughs> the banana's great. Oh, yes, that one didn't push out. I think I think that is true. Mm. And there's just a very good chance that it does collide with the play field. Uh, rather than trying to know oh, where the maze is I see. and going, oh, I have to be not where the maze is. It, it, it just goes, eh, put me anywhere and just push me to the left. Yeah, because sometimes when it pushes, it doesn't push completely. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. That is really clever yeah. uh, programming to yeah. skip a whole bunch of hard things. Oh, that, you're at 51. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all, record. you get a good start. The world record. I you will, get a good start. I will have the world record. I love record how you bring life. that up every single time. <laughs> I have the world record. Yeah, no one's competing against you, so I'm not sure. 61, beat yeah. that. Larry the Lemon, world record. <laughs> uh, nice. Big fan of hard work. Yeah. Okay, you want to go for 61? Not really. I'm not going to beat 61, I don't think. 38 was pretty good. I'll do, do one do, more. Do one more. It's pretty cute. How about this time? Try... Nice. Well, yeah, I was going to say... Keep him at a distance? Keep him at a distance and, and, and play it a bit more like that. I'll do Since it Since you already have one. a pretty high score. I got three in, the, three in a row once. So, yeah, that was pretty sweet. So I don't know if I'll Just beat random, it. Just random, but yeah. I have to get something as close, like, uh, as good as that. Because the scores are going to be random because the crosses are placed randomly. So if you get a lot of close crosses and not a lot of traveling, you're going to get a higher score. But I mean, it should come out in the wash most of the time. It should. The last game I got, like, ding, 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 three yeah. in a row. But then which... you'll get a couple that are further away. Yeah. 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 I mean, those things do matter when you're competing and well, things we'll like that. We'll see okay. how it works this time. Yeah. Still doing pretty good. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole bunch. They're all close together. Back them off a bit. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think... Hmm. 61 is patchworthy. <laughs> <laughs> patchworthy. As Ramirez says. <laughs> let's make the patch. Let's make the patch at 60. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, funny. Like you could, even if you don't want to make um, real patches, you can make virtual patches for games, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, well, the patch is 60. And then when you get it, you can, I don't know, add it to your signature yeah. <laughs> on the Atari age forum. <laughs> yes, but you don't usually get to choose that yourself. I got a 61. That's the patch level. No, <laughs> that's, that's not how no, it works. No, you don't get to choose it no. yourself. <laughs> I think, like, the patches come <laughs> out, out of a lot of people playing it, and then one or two pe people can get, like, a really, really high score, and that's yeah. kind of the where a patch should be. It shouldn't be easy to get. Like, really, really hard it should be. But very, ach but achievable. Not impossible. Mm. No, no. 55. 61, 61 is was pretty good. Banana patch. The yeah. ban oh, that'd be great. Okay, now I'm gonna keep him like far away from me. And yeah. Then try and try and try and do it because his movement is pretty interesting. No, it's it's. He really blocks you. He really he turns around. I don't know. Does he turn around when you turn around? I don't know. He he's taking the path closest to you. I think all the time. So like. Um, it's interesting. Not necessarily. No, he is because at I a corner he has a choice of left or right. <laughs> But if you go down, he'll fall. He'll go down the path. Like he's he's. Oh, he turned. He went away from me there. There's some randomness. Yeah, for sure. At a distance, there's some randomness. Yeah. Oh, see. But it depends. Yeah. Wow. It's this almost is really like if he sees AI. you or not. It's almost like if he sees you or not. I don't know. Mm. Now he's really close. There you go. I do like the AI, but I think he needs to be faster. I think it needs, I think to make it a little bit harder, he needs to be more random when he's close and, mm. and, and run away. Like, mm. because otherwise you, as you get him close enough and then you just go around. Yeah. Either, yeah. either that. Because the randomness when he's further away actually makes it really challenging to get the X's because you really start hard. confronting each other, right? Like really hard. He's so but smart. But when he's on your tail, <laughs> he just, he just, um, just like, I'm not going to do that because yeah, it, it actually 
it makes it yeah makes it difficult yeah. when he's far away yeah but then he gets too close and it's too easy yeah so it needs something needs to change when he's close yeah he needs to either turn around or it needs to be faster yeah because you know we've we've gamed the game at this point well Cheese sort of game. yeah i mean i mean yes and no i mean oh yes <laughs> i just keep him on my you tail you still have to at the beginning have a good run at the beginning to get a high score but yeah this is better forget about ding cuckoo <laughs> <laughs> janzela uh, uh, underscore nl yeah. better name yeah very very good game mm. i really hope that mm. there's an update to that mm. because otherwise you just let them get close and then work the maze that's mm. it you're mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. i mean you can't turn around but so excellent that is that is a fun game it is a fun game i think it, i think and then and there's there's a challenge to get a high score um, and I do like the movement of the banana, but it is, it is, there is a thing when he gets too close, he'll, he'll just follow you. So, yeah. um, and then, then that's how you get your high score, but, ah, uh, million Molly. <laughs> so excited. This is where I get quiet <laughs> or, or quieter than usual. So let me get the right screen. There we go. So we're going to be playing a 7,800 game yeah. up here now and it's actually been updated mm. so I'll go over the updates um, oh. it's been updated it has been updated. oh wow that's quick it's just last weekend we played this right yes mm -hmm. so I'll go over what the updates oh. are I'm sneeze yeah kittens oh I can't get out of the window that's funny there we go Oh, it pushes my cursor back in the window. Okay. That's okay. I don't need to do anything. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Not sure if it'll get an update. Chris doesn't do much uh, after it. No, I know. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's I know fun. He doesn't. It's fun the way it is. It's still very, very fun. It's fun the way it is. I don't think it needs changes. Yeah, Chris, uh, the way he programs that I've noticed, he goes boom, 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 boom. And it, like for a week, he'll yeah. work on a game. And then he's like, done. Yeah. And he works on the next one. He loves like concepts, mm. um, and executing the concept, executing the concept, doing it really quick, yeah, and moving on to the it's next personal concept. style. I mean, it's yeah. also nice. Some people will nitpick at something forever, yeah, and at a certain point, you want to finish things right everyone's yeah. a little different in how they and how they deal with their own projects and, and he, ideas, right? Yeah. So, because yeah. like I said, he's made literally hundreds of games. But they all have a slightly different mechanics to them. He, mm. he, he, I think, I'm just guessing, but I think he gets the mechanic first. And then he goes, how can I use this in a game? And he works the game around that mechanic. Mm. Like he probably came up with, okay, somebody's following you around a maze. Is it working? No. Try it. Okay, let's make sure. Oh, I forgot everything. No. Okay, up. No? What's happening? Is it plugged in? Yeah. Shows it plugged in. Oh, you know what? Um, I did start the emulator after. Now the mouse. Now you've registered the mouse. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is start the emulator again. Okay. Um, and now... Now try it. Yep. So hold for a second, mm -hmm. because it, it probably went, oh, I don't see the controller, mm -hmm. and it just forgot all about it. He is a machine, yes. <laughs> uh, it's going to make a terrible noise, because it's like, it starts the 7800 system mm -hmm. without, a, without a game in it, which is kind of a funny way to do it, nice. but it, it makes sense. So let's see if it remembers, which probably doesn't. Uh, okay, just try up and down. No. No. Okay. Now it should. Oh, it does remember other things. Okay. Up. There we go. Phew. Down. Left. Right. Button one. That one. 
by two. Good. Good. Now you should be able to do it. Yay! Okay, we're back in business. We're doing a passcode, right? One code, second. Right? To start at 30. Hooray. <laughs> I crashed it. Kaboom. We are going to do a passcode. Okay. Hopefully this remembers what I just did. Ugh. We're getting there. We there. Go. Up and down? Up and down? Nope. Is it? It's because <laughs> I crashed it out. Uh oh, well let's let's show everybody what we're doing anyway. Yeah, so. it's, there's they're not looking at much right now. We are configuring uh, the joystick. Yeah. Okay, up. Down. Left. Right. Button one. Button two. Just in case. Okay, down, good. So we're going to put in the code mm -hmm. um, because we made it to level 31. It is 872. Um, 503. And this should take us to level, there we go. Validate instantly. Oh. Okay, just press in. Button. Um, play level 31. Sweet. I like that. Oh yeah, that's right. It kind of, uh, yeah, this is, this is like a little tutorial. Oops. Did I do that? No. Do what? Can you guys hear it? You guys can see it. Yeah. Oh, no audio. One second. Yeah, there's no audio. Sorry, sorry. Loud, 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 loud. Because the audio is through the computer, because we're doing emulation. Now you should be able to move. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're in business. Um, so he said, uh, from Matt, he said, hope you had a great weekend and are safe and well. We are. I oh, I see. No, no, I'm thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, another new release for tomorrow. So this um, this was actually just handed us to, to us today, this, this new version. Mm -hmm. Updated a style to tune. This starts at level 21. I don't know if we switched over to the third tune yet or not, um, but probably not because we're on 31, so it's only 10 in. Bit louder? Okay. Oh, there it is. I need to get up there. Oh, the sound is faint because it was come, just coming through the microphone. Okay, are we good with the sound now? Just let us know. Um, uh, added a save key support, though not in this release, no easy setup in emulation. Well, that's cool. So it'll have save key support, so it'll remember what level you made it to. Mm. That's very crucial for a game like this. I mean, you have the you have the codes, so that's actually good, because you could either have the save key and not have to worry about the codes, or have a not have a save key and just key in the code so that works for both both methods and that's and that's good for like atari vox for games with speech as well you don't want the speech to be crucial for the game because somebody without an atari vox wouldn't be able to play the game um so you want it to work for both but you want it to be um um it's kind of an add-on ah, and i messed that up <laughs> and a wrong move. What was the button to? Oh goodness! Ooh, I don't think it's mapped. There we go. Yeah, yeah. No, we're good. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to fall off the edge there. Remember, the sound in emulation is incorrect. The real hardware sounds much better. Mm -hmm. Always, always. Oh good, it sounds good. Now, yeah. um, he finalized the game complete screen. So we'll see that in a second. Game complete or level complete? He just says game complete. We won't see that for a while. It's 100 levels. Yeah, that was okay. Yay. If Tanya didn't play during the week, then you're up to level 31. Yes. I did not play. Congratulations. Level 32 complete. Level 33 pla yeah. passcode. Oh, that's a different dude. But he's just like a hanging dude. I haven't really seen any moving people or anything different. Just people on the bottom and people kind of hanging. Oh, you have to get over to the 
barrel. Yep. I and do that last. Yes. Yeah, this is easy. Yeah. Yeah. And then she falls. Move over. Yep. She falls down. Yeah, you can do that first. And yeah. then boom. Boom. Oh, wait. No, no, you're still fine. You got ladders to go Oh, down. that's right. That's right. Yeah. I just had that. Ah, oh, I can't get down. No. <laughs> I no, thought so too done. for a second. Yeah, for a moment there. Janzel uh, NL says, I bought the C64 edition. It's great and highly addictive. Yeah. yeah it, I mean, this this looks like a perfect Sounds. translation of the C64 version. Um, and he said it's pixel for pixel perfect um, because of the the graphics layouts and the capabilities of the C64 and the uh, 7800 and the graphics mode they chose for the 64 that he was able to translate over the graphics perfectly. And um, and the music's really good. I can't wait to hear it with a pokey, uh, pokey chip. Um, yeah, she needs to get on that side. What is that thing? That's just dirt you smush away, right? Yeah. And this dude um, else can go this way. Oh, you can push it away from a ladder. Yeah, then you get that guy, and then you kind of do the, do it again. Yeah. Mm. And you fall. Yeah. And then you push the barrel over. On top of her, to the left of that guy. And then you get the guy. No, you have to do it in a very specific order. Not really. Yeah. No. You need two, one on top of the other. Yeah, the barrel. Move her over, drop her there, then yeah. go to the left. Then push the barrel over. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just what I was. There are a bunch of different ways to do it. Because before that. this was, they were working together but separate. Well, now they're working now together. No, they were working together but not on top of each other. Yeah, At separately. 31, separately. it wasn't about you holding space, it yeah. was about pushing things back and forth. Yeah. So, yeah. So this game is pretty complete. I don't know if there's uh, much more that he needs to do. I know he wanted to work with the music a bit more. Mm. Um, when we played it last, the notes were that the music wasn't quite done, but I'm pretty sure all the levels are in there. And now he's finished the uh, game complete screen. So I don't know what would be left. I think just music. So that's very, very cool that we're going to get uh, a new 7800 game. And uh, he's also working on Arkanoid for the 7800. That's still uh, a work in progress, but it looks like it's pretty far. I haven't played that one, so we might play that one coming up on another show, just to see how far along that is. Okay, it's my turn. You played the whole other no, time. I'm thinking. After this level, it's my turn. both at the top right um, so that needs to drop oh. and then she needs to get behind and the barrel and then do it again right okay so it's a challenge to even get up yeah oh and, and you can and now they both can get up uh, okay yep so, so she can so go the first challenge is to get up and then you need one barrel on that side yeah. and then you just need the other girl on the other side yeah you just so. you get that guy first. Hmm? Actually, yeah, you have to get that guy first. On yes, the right, you're right. Or else you're 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 stuck in that pit. Yeah, you're right. Somehow, at the end of every level, they're magically transported out of all the oh, the difficult the, situations the that difficult they're in. The difficult situations they're in. But of course, they would have to be transported because there's no ladder out of this. No. Whew. It's kind of like um, the movie Labyrinth, where everything's kind of magic. Yeah. It's like, well, it's, it's set up 
Okay, so we have to kind of get the barrels down. Mm. You can only get the barrel. You have to destroy the dirt, so yeah, that's not hard. But then the question is, is how do you? You need a barrel at each bottom. You yeah. Need, so how do you do that? So this part is self-explanatory. Just getting those things. Mm. And then you have to get the barrels down for sure. And there's only one path for them to go down at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do that. Um, oh, not necessarily. Because I could push one on top of the other. Let's see. I you can't get up there. Oh, no. No, this is easy. This is easy. Easy, easy, easy. So you just put her under there. And, how do and then you, get you do on it the other side. Oh, you, you fall drop down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Or not. Oh no. I did this wrong. Yep. You have to have the girl down. You have there. to do this beforehand. You have to have the girl down. On there. the left side yeah. beforehand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or the granny. The granny down yeah. there. So I, d I do the whole left first. Yeah. So. She goes there, and then yeah, yeah. I might as well do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And just be careful which way you push the barrel in the end. Um, yeah, because you don't want to trap them. You want to keep them, keep them both on the right hand side. Because mm -hmm. if you push it to the left. Yeah, I have to get over there first. Yeah. Yeah. They both I do have anything. to be on that side. And it's fine now. Yeah. So um, you want to move her over. I'm just put her there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just Not got back bad. with level 36 level right now. So we've done a couple. You can go to the right. You, you always fall down and go around. You can just go to the right and back to the ladder. You can't. Oh, no, that's true. You do yeah. fall. Yeah. yeah. I don't think this game has pushing. Like, you can't hold down the button and push it. No, that's true. You have to go. Yeah. Mm. Yay. Uh, his Arcanoid is great. You can play with paddles, Europad, or joystick. Mm. Can I play with 2600 paddles? Or do I need something special? I should be able to play with 2600 paddles, right? I don't know much about the 7800. Because mm. um, I rarely play it. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Why is that on that screen? Close, close that. It's not, and it doesn't work like that. No? No. Uh, I know how to do that. Uh, one second. There. Problem solved. <laughs> okay. One second. Let's get the stream back up. There we go. Okay. Now, what do I need to do? lot going on here. Those guys fall down. And the barrels fall down. So, if I push that barrel... If, well, you can get to the left of it. No, I would have <laughs> destroyed the dirt first, I think. The right dirt? I think I need to get these guys down, and I need to. I don't think it matters too much. Let me just try something. No. And I'm gonna put that. Yeah, but then to the, the dirt. Right. You can't push the. You can't push anything now. Oh yeah. That's why I said you need to get the dirt. But, um, I I I don't think you do it all with one one. I th you need to clear that out to get. Oh, how do you get her over? You down and around and push the barrel. I, I, so, so this is what I think you need to do. I think you've already screwed it up. Nope. Um, now she can't get across. She has to yeah, move her can. barrel. She has to move her barrel down on the dirt and get over. Yeah. No. Yes. 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 You can't get that. Oh, no. You have to get her over first. That's what I mean. <laughs> you have through. to have her push the barrel down on top of the dirt. Right. So she goes down. 
What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> you just messed it up again. What? No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop. Restart. Okay. So stay where you are. Switch yep. to the granny at the top. Yeah. Oops. Right? Yeah. She goes down and around and pushes the barrel on top of the dirt. Uh, this barrel? Okay. Yeah. Go down. Down the ladder. One. Right. Over. Yeah. And now she can fall and get to get over one. Okay. Don't push anything. <laughs> now... Now I can kill that dirt. You can kill the dirt. Right? And then... I can get one of these. <sighs> and now you can... Um, I'm trying to think of the order to do it in. Well, I should push that one over, because I need another barrel eventually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so then you can... Now she can move... Technically, she can... The one on the top can... Do the whole thing up top. Get both of those. And then she can go down, and then over one, and then... No. <gasps> you can't go back. You just screwed that up. <laughs> you have oh, to... I don't know if they've done rewind yet. No, he needs to implement rewind. No, but that's okay. Yeah. But now you know what to do. Do I? Yeah, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, down and around, uh, right. the, the one on the top. Oh, no, now you screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible. I love these games. Okay, I'm not going to say that again. Oh. <laughs> that was okay, an accident. I'm going to the washroom. I'll be right back. Oh no, she's getting frustrated. <laughs> no, no. Hey, Daryl. Welcome to the show. Um, oh, no, I have to get her across. First, then I do that. Then I can get that first guy. And then, what do I do? I need to get this. So I can do that. Then I get her across there. Then. Then I go to the left and push. Oh no! How come she doesn't move? See, that's the problem I did. That's the thing I did wrong last time. How come she's not? Damn it. So I was expecting her to move under the barrel. Oh, thank you, Spiceware, for uh, upping your subscription. Uh, on. Uh. <laughs> okay, now she moves over. Yeah. I think she needs to push that barrel over because <gasps> to no. the right. Because every time I drop one, they both fall down because I don't occupy that space when I push it over. I think she needs to push that barrel over. Okay, that works too. Because this. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, like that. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I was thinking <gasps> no! I had a totally different thing in my head, but that works. That's trade off, too. actually. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting frustrated anyway. <laughs> 2,600 paddles for Arkanoid. Excellent. We're playing that. Love Arkanoid. It's so much fun. It's only good with paddles, it is torturous with a joystick. So it's only one guy. But you gotta get all those barrels. Well, the one at the bottom can't do anything right now. What can you do? You can either you put push two them. barrels on the right of it, if it's not possible. Or you have to stack up one, two, three, plus a person. And you've got three there. Ooh. So I can definitely you can get two of them there, but how do you get the one of those barrels across? Well you've got two barrels. Because they're both gonna fall down there. Like those two on the right hand side, easy. Stack, stack. And then you have to get them back over. How do you get one of those over? Oh, if she's if she's. Oh, in the you bottom, know what? You don't. She's in the bottom. No. You put her in the bottom. You all you have to do. Oh no, this is easy. 
you do get it from the right hand side. Yeah. You get them both stacked up mm -hmm. on each other. Or just one of them stacked up and then walk across. So the trick is to get both of them over on the right hand side. You can't though. You have to push both those barrels down to the bottom and she can walk across there. But then how do and you then get she four goes up. or five up? Oh, I see. Over yep. there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean your paddles beforehand. My paddles are not too bad. I want you to twist them a bit. So um, sorry, you you need to get two on that. How do you get it over? Who? One, two. That bottom girl, you have to get her over across and up that ladder. You need three. No. How many do you need? I know you need I do one, this one, two. You know, you, you do it. You've <laughs> yeah. been thinking about it. So. Yeah. Um... Oh, look at that. She kicked it with her foot when she was on yeah. the ladder. Oh, that was so cute. You just get rid of that one. Okay. Um, I think it might be screwed up already, but maybe not. You push. Oh, no. We're fine. And then you get her over. Uh, oh, no. No. You have to do that beforehand. So you have to get her up and around. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So... That over there. She um, can knock that over. Oh yeah, she needs to knock them over I first. Yeah, but and then oh, she yeah. goes around this side of it. I think. What? And then she needs to go up and around first. Up and around where? I don't know what you're doing. I think I might be okay. You can't go up though. Oh, like that. Yeah. I don't think you need to move that barrel at all. I think that's just a uh, oh. something to trick you into yeah, moving it. There's nothing there's cause, nothing there. Because you screw up if yeah. you push that barrel down. Yeah, it's true. You only have one guy to get at the end of the day. Yeah. It's more about getting you over. Getting you over. Than building up barrels to get to that guy. Mm. Because they're trying to trick you into pushing all those barrels and building them up. This is just a matter of the order in which you, you knock things down, I think. The, uh, because you're going to trap yourself. You are going to. Especially gonna... on the right-hand side. That's going to be the challenging thing. So on the right-hand side, you only have one move, which is going to the right. No, if the other girl comes over. Ah, that's true. Yeah. So I think I think you need to start here. And just clear it out. Um, Ooh, that one protects you from it falling. Yes, so... But you do... Oh! Uh, if you don't get him, that's going to be trouble. Because that guy will stay up the whole time. But I'll fall down if I get him. Um, that's fine. So I want to get... You want to get that bug guy. Maybe you want to get the right-hand guy first. No, then it'll start dropping things. You want to no, get the I'm green gonna, guy first. I'm going to start. Or second. But you don't want to You don't want to fall down before getting that green guy. Because you'll never get back up to get him. Because there's no ladders there. Yeah. Might have been the wrong order. Yeah. Maybe not. No, no. you can. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. a blocker, Dunkus yeah. says. <laughs> yeah, let's restart. That's it. But I think you're right that you have to dig out the left person first. Because yes. the left person will help the right hand yeah. person. So, green guy first. Yeah. Yeah, then right, yeah. left, right, right, and then just go boom, boom. Right, left, left. And then you've cleared out the left. There we go. Now it's just the method of getting the... You want to keep her. So if I get the first guy and drop it down... You'll be able to push your the barrel all the way to the left eventually. And then if I move to the left, because I want to keep her to the left to get the guy at the bottom. Or maybe I should have gotten the guy... Oh no, once I'm at the bottom I can't get back up. Oh, uh, no, no, no. You could... You can't get, go back up once you get the guy at the bottom. 
Oh, so, she'll fall down. So I think if I go to the left, then she gets... Because it's all one. about the pattern you get it in. So you either you either get that one with the other girl, or you don't get with the other girl. So, and you may not want to move yet. You're gonna love the rewind function. Yes, <laughs> it would be very helpful in cases like this. Now you definitely have to move the other girl. Now you just screw myself. Yeah. I think so. Why not? Oh, maybe not. Oh, 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 ooh, no, no. It's gonna be two barrels. Nope. In your way. Nope. <laughs> oh, two barrels in your way. There we go. Yeah. That's oh, it. yeah. You don't have. To. Oh. Now you only need to push one. It's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Lots of dirt. Lots of dirt. Um, and the you need question. the barrels. It's how to get those barrels down. The dirt is easy to remove. The barrels are what you need to get what? These guys are floating in the middle. How do you get to up? Oh, I think you have to... Mm. So you can clear out the two levels. You to do that. Doesn't help you either. <laughs> Might yeah. not need to, but yeah. So I think you need. Oh, how do you get? So. The barrels over on that side, then that side. Oh, you you can push them. It's a matter of how you clear the dirt. Oh. That's so. True. So you may may not yeah. actually want to be at the bottom. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think you want to get over and push that barrel over. Because if you push the barrel onto the dirt, one more. Okay, so. Clear that, that dirt and that dirt on the right. As long as the barrel doesn't fall. It shouldn't, can... then I have to go around. Oh no. I have to clear that piece of dirt out first. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. I can get up the ladder. Yeah, maybe do Funny. it on both sides because I can't see there being any... There's no point in keeping the dirt on either side. No, because then you can't get up yeah. the ladder. Okay, let's do that again. And then clear that out. And then go around and push it down. So I have a barrel at the bottom. You should have cleared out that. Yeah. Or maybe you can fall down to So me. now... Now you can't get back over on that right side. Oh no. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're okay. You can clear the dirt. To get... No, you can clear the dirt. Get on top of the other girl and clear the dirt and come back all oh. the way around. Oh. Because you can clear the dirt at the bottom. Right, oh, okay, yeah, then I can get, can at least get the right hand side. I mean, you can use the, the girl to get that. Now if we can do the same for the right, the left. Hmm. You can go, yeah. Is that going to work? I think no. I want to get. Ooh, what I can do? Let's do this. Put her there. Put her there right now. And then, the, can I get back up? Yeah, I, if you just move her. Oh, yeah. So if you go go to the clear that. And move and her. Just move her. Yes, there we go. Just found out that the passwords on the C64 and A700 are not the same. Uh, that's, a good, it out. that's a good thing, actually. Yeah, it is a good thing. Because then you can't just look up the C64 yeah. version. There's probably a bunch of different ways to yeah, do this. Yeah, for level. sure there's multiple yeah. ways on this one. So that's 40. And we're trying to get to 
I'm gonna say, well, 50. whatever, whatever you want yeah, to get to. Yeah, we'll see. However much time we have. Yeah. It's on one o'clock now, so. We haven't had lunch, right? So. I'm already hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's three dudes at the bottom. I don't see a single barrel. So this is all about placing. So I just bought um, the Activision patch, You Suck, the Loser patch on eBay. <laughs> it's not a real Activision patch. Okay. It's somebody that made one after the fact. And, um, oh, I see. Okay. and it says you have failed to achieve any Activision scores. Oh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you're using each other to build bridges across? No. Yeah. We don't need it for that one. Yeah. No. Ooh. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Oh yeah, you have to use each other to get up. Because mm. you have to get up that ladder. Yeah. Somehow. So you have to fall on the other person. I think you just missed that opportunity. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I think that's all you have to do. You oh, no, 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 that one. Up one. It's okay. It we have to key in the it. password. And I also got the fishing derby fake patch as well. Oh yeah, you can go to the right. So she falls down. Yeah. And then moves here. Yeah. So now she can go over. Yeah. And then she can go under. Under, because she has to drop. I don't know how you get that green guy though. Because you can fall. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I know. You have to go up and around, fall on the robot, then push the left. Oh, yeah. It's not obvious right away. Like this. Yeah. I feel like I just want to move her here for now. So that she doesn't fall all the way down. And then. So you can get that robot. Otherwise, you Here, would it not. Even, doesn't even matter. You yeah. would not be able okay. to do it. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we'll try to get to fifty. We could try yeah. sixty, but I think it gets it, it gets it, more complex. It, as it gets harder, it takes longer. So, well, fifty is a good a good aim. Okay. Now, screens at the bottom are easy because um, you just provide a platform. So there there is one barrel. But I'm not sure how you get it somewhere where it's usable. Uh, do barrels fall down ladders? No. no. That one didn't. So, um, I think we can do all of this without any issues, without getting stuck, so. Let's do that. Mm. There's no, not gonna get stuck anywhere, so that's fine. I might well, just have to figure out the last two. You have to get back up there. Just go to the right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, now, you're <laughs> now I'm screwed. No, nope, oh, you no, can go I'm up not, and around. Not screwed. This one's pretty open for that first part, so. I may need that barrel. Do no, you need you to can't. destroy that dirt? Probably. You, you, um, yeah. It's the, on, it's the only way it. in. I would just do it. Um, now, how do you get that guy? He's yeah, covered you, in barrels. You moved it already, didn't you? No, I didn't touch. I'm pretty sure I didn't touch the side of the screen. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Hmm. Didn't you do it up once already? Kick that out? No, I wasn't yeah. even over there. Either way, now how would I put that it's barrel already... beneath the guy? It's impossible. Hmm. I need to drop him down one. 
Um, well, you can't get under the barrel that way. No. Let's restart. See what's but, going on in that right hand side. Yeah, so you hit oh. him already. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Do do what you did, but don't hit that dude. Yeah. That's why they put him there. He's like, oh, you want to get that guy? He's really easy to get. Yeah. <laughs> Just go get him. Now you have to do one more over. Yeah. Yeah. Now don't touch that guy. Go. Either, either part of the game, code, or better if possible, based on a unique console code. Hmm. Yep, yeah, because the programmer of this game doesn't know how those codes were made so that it probably was non-obvious so I do need to get that guy to drop down those barrels then I need to you drop need it down first, again and then yeah yeah uh, no, so get him first that's one and then go back around and drop it again and then done nice a little tricky, a little bit not, tricky. Not too crazy. You got the guy that was on the bottom of the blue. Yeah. Yeah. Too early. You just kind of went and got it, and it's yeah. like you have to think about the consequence of what drops. I do. So. So. So I think you definitely need to drop that barrel down. And then use another but, barrel. But. Yeah. You need to be on the left side of it, so you almost want to take the girl and move What's her to turn? the left. Sorry. Because then you, you have to get back up. Okay, I think I know how, where to start, but we'll see if I fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fall down. You want to be on the right-hand side, otherwise you're pushing barrels yeah. away. But... Oh, cross over first. Yeah. Let me see here. And you have to drop onto it. To another barrel. That you have to push over. Not necessarily. We boosted up one. We need at least one barrel to go down to the bottom. Two. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could just. This um, this game is in an interesting position right now because this is a port of a homebrew game. This is an unauthorized port at this point <laughs> of a homebrew game. Um, but he has reached out to the original programmer on the C64 version. Um, so hopefully everything turns out okay. And um, I can't see why the original programmer wouldn't love this version. It's so good and so authentic to the original. Yes, and then that person can push. No, you didn't want to do that yet. Why it's still not? fine. It's still fine. You have barrels up there. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Okay. Like, I thought you I were think this go is what you have to do. Uh, because I was thinking you'd stay hurt, stay there, and she can go around. You don't even need a barrel. Yeah, I think. And I don't think you even need a barrel to get that on. Or do you? I think you might need one of that barrel up at this the top. This seems fairly complex. <laughs> yeah. Um. You need one barrel on the left. So we one can barrel get on back right. down. One on the left. I need two on the right. No. I think so. Or to both get the, that green guy. Or both people. Yeah. Because if she's here, I can get the green guy. So the question is, do I need two barrels? It actually doesn't matter. You either need a person or a barrel on both sides. And then I can push this off. 
Yeah, you might as well. And then, it's, it's helpful. And then I can go one, two. Now you can either use the barrel, which makes it easy because you don't need the second person there. Drop the barrel down. I need I oh. need to be careful here. That's better. That's I a better option. I need to do this first. Oh, there you go. And then I can get back to the ladder. Oh no! Why you can't, can't I push? You can't. I can't push it against no. the ladder. Oh, Fuck. you're so close. Yeah, I can't push it against the ladder. I didn't realize I couldn't push it against the ladder. And you can't do anything with that. Right? Yeah, I have to do that again. Very close, though. Very close. So it's, it's all about the ah. I didn't mean to do that. That at all. Nope. Oh, anyway, let's just redo that. I thought I was controlling the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so she falls. I'm trying to think, it's this. There's a lot of um. She falls. Yeah, that's what you did last time. You went across. Then I went across. Left. But then I c could push this barrel over and then try to push those two barrels down. Mm, yep. Yeah. You could use those two for the bottom. Maybe that's better? Um, you don't have a way across if you don't use one of those barrels, though. What do you mean? Um, to get her across that yeah, gap. Yeah, so there. if I. Are oh, you going to use that one? Okay. Yep, yeah, that works. I mean, this is another way. Just this. different placements of different barrels. She could do the top, actually. But one barrel needs to end up. One or two. Mm. I feel like you this use is... the top barrels for the right and the middle barrels for the left. But then you block ladders. What you're doing, you'll do... I don't need to... Oh. You can position her so she can... F f fall down. Damn it. Yeah, position her on the ladder. On the right. That bottom girl. I'm trying to think. No, I'm trying to think. So, you could clear out the middle first. Yeah. I could put her there. Oh, yeah, if, if you go up and around... Maybe that's not. Maybe you should be using one of those middle barrels. I think I've cut it. No. No? <laughs> I think I've got it. Yeah, but she can't push. You have to get that green guy last. The one on the left? You have to get them both last. Oh no, let's see. That's not enough barrels. Tricky. You need everything. thinking you can't go across the top without moving the barrels over and then you block the ladders. I know. You have to get the person up on the ladder beforehand. But you can't like, get that green guy. Yeah. Yeah be in two places at once it seems. Challenging, challenging. Well, try something. 
or I'm gonna take it from you. Both those barrels have to be at the left barrels. They have to be. There's no other purpose for them, right? And you can't. Then the question is, is how do we manage this? Ooh. Yeah. Because you can't get back up. So what do you need to do? Tell me what you need to do. You need to push one of those barrels to the right. Yeah, and if you do that, you can't get back up the ladder if you fall down on the left to, to get the green guy. Damn it! Because the moment you get a green guy, you get trapped. Yeah. So maybe the key is to bring both girls to the right and use her to get the green guy on the right and then she goes and gets them oh. on the left and pushes yeah, the barrel yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what you do. So, so just she get over right moves over. on that ladder. On that tall ladder. Yeah. Because you have, you, now you're fine. Yeah. Okay, now push then, one barrel that way, one barrel that way. Yeah, because you can you can get out of that side. Yes. One barrel to the right, and use her as as a uh, step back. A platform. Step. Platform. Yep. So push that all the way. Yep. She can actually get out from this side. You can't get out of the other side. Oh, no, Wait. maybe you can't. Wait. No, you can't. Because the it. moment it falls. So I, I shouldn't have, I should have fallen. I, I screwed that up. Really? Yes. But I saw a way to... She has to fall to the right of the barrel falls. She, oh, no, she can't. She needs to get there again. How does she get there? Anyway, like if that barrel was, uh. <sighs> hmm. I think I don't think there's a solution right now. I can't see one either. It's, it's always... Any help from the audience? Sometimes it's really hard to explain through typing, even if they can figure it out. Like what you need to do, because there's so many things involved. Yeah, she can't get back on. No. no. Okay. I think we're close, mind you. Very um, close. Definitely. You need that barrel there, for sure, in that pit, because there's no way across. And those two other barrels yeah. you have, have to, to go there, because there's no useful place. Well, there is. There is. Wait a second. Wait a second. If you put those middle barrels... Down into the right? Down to the right. Yeah, but you're going to block the ladder. No, it it it, it doesn't. It provides a path to the ladder. I just want to try a concept sure. here. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so you, she has to fall down. Yeah. And then you get her across. And then you do that. So she can get across. Mm -hmm. And we'll just get her up because... Yeah. Now instead of pushing those to the left, you push them to the right to provide a path over. And how do you so do you that? So you can escape. Um, you can't. 
Ooh. One has to go. That. One I has to go to early. the left. Yeah. Is there a way for her to get back again? Because my concept was oops, was to try and get those both to the both to the right. Now, now she's trapped. Yeah. I think we were pretty close before. But pretty close isn't close enough, really. <laughs> no, and right. now you've blocked the ladder. No one can get up that ladder, so. That's what you think. Mm, I see. Yeah, she can. Now she gets trapped in there. Yeah, but I don't think it's high enough. She's trapped. This was in there. my concept. Yeah. <laughs> but, but there's not another barrel there. Yeah. And I can't get her back. You can't get her back. I'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't mind. Let's see. It's very simple. Maybe you don't push that thing down yet. You Maybe. know you do, because you can't get anywhere. No, and then she's trapped down there. Yeah, she goes there's down there. just So now nothing. you can't get over. It's just nothing for her to do. You have to do this. Yeah. You have to. Oops. Oh. And see, and then, yeah, I did that once. You think you're in control of the top one. You Maybe have that's to. That's helpful. Let's try that. What? Um, have her go down. And then what? I don't know. <laughs> Trap <laughs> them both. Nope, 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 nope. I get one more turn. One more, one more, one more. I think you have to, that, the first thing you have to do is drop that barrel. I don't think there's any. The question is, is what you do with it. Right. Right. No, <laughs> that doesn't help. Um, it does. I mean, you can push that to the left. But then I can't get over. And then to she do the has to. She has to. It doesn't. It's just push doing the barrel this, over. Doing the same thing in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and she can't get over. She's stuck there. Now. If I could get her over that, then it'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, but you can't. Uh, oh. It's just well, doing it, things in it, a different it, it, Yeah, that's fine. Path. That's fine. If you brought both of them up there to the top. Yeah. This is kind of... You still have... Yeah. Maybe it matters which side they're yeah. on. Maybe they both can go in I mean, somehow and if, be on if the left. The question here is where do you want the barrels to go? So you can drop one barrel to the left, right? Yeah. And then that gets you the green guy, but then you bl block. If you push that barrel, that's a problem. If if you push the barrels to the right... That would be great. So if you move her out of the... So if... Let me think here. Yeah. So if she was down at the bottom there... This one. So if you move her down to the ladder, I think this is what we ended up doing before. And then you move the two barrels down. Don't do it yet. Yeah, to the right? Move two barrels down to the right. You can access the green guy. I can, yes. And then get back up the ladder. I can get back up the ladder. <gasps> that might be it. Or that might be it because then I can get her over and she or, can step on. No, her. no, 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 yes, no. Yes, 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 no, because yes. you get trapped the moment you get the green guy. You get trapped. Oh, if there are two barrels there. Can't I push? Oh, I can't push one over. But if she's down at the bottom and you move one barrel over and get the green guy, then she can move oh, out of the way. Yes. So if I like that. Yes. Right. And then she pushes the barrel. Yeah. Now you get the green guy. And then I can. Then you, and the bottom one can untrap her. 
Yes. <laughs> and then you can push the. Yeah. Barrel. The other one almost doesn't matter. You can you can take her, push the barrel over. Yeah, to the left. And then go back one, push that over, and, and now you done. get the green gun. Oh my goodness. So it was a matter of using her as a platform. Uh, the availability Ooh. ETA for this game, I th the, um, the developer is now currently reaching out to the original homebrew author that made this game for the C64 um, for permission to release it um, so that it can, and, and I guess figure out how it's going to work, whether they can release it for free for everyone to play or some or come to some agreement to put it on cartridge um, because it does use pokey a pokey chip for the music um, and then who knows after that whether it's going to be either released for free not re like the options are released for free not released at all because the c64 authors like i didn't like, I don't want you to put this out. Um, or released on cartridge. So we'll probably find out pretty soon because um, he's reached out and we will know. And I will definitely let everyone know as soon as I know because I think this is an incredible, incredible port of the game. I um, mean, I haven't played the C64 version, but I've, I've seen it in action and it looks... I mean, beyond the palette colors, um, it's, it's, it looks exactly the same. Well, thank you, Spartan581, for resubscribing. Um, you're up to nine months. After watching that, I need a nap. <laughs> Whew! Yoo-hoo! Yes, thank you very much. We did it. <laughs> Took a while. It was, it was challenging. We might just this go up to number 45. It is challenging. Because <laughs> these are getting one, much harder. One, two, three. So you have to put all the barrels yeah. and stack a person. And then you can get it? Yes. Okay. So the question is, how do we get all the barrels? We've got ladders beneath all the way around. So you can always get around. You just don't put two barrels together. I to do that. So I said just push them off when you can. Yeah, but... That's it. Just push them off when you can and don't put two together. Oh, I screwed that up already, I think. No. Oh, she can go down. Yeah, you can go down. Uh, you can get go rid down of dirt. Around. So just get rid of that dirt. Push that barrel off. Uh, I'm dropping in late. Did I miss anything? I mean, other than the whole show? <laughs> Yep, you missed everything. Everything. All the games. Um, lots of fun games. Why? Why? I think you're in a good position there, being on the left. Give it to me! No! Give it to me! Back off! <laughs> Give it to me! Back off! This game is terrible for being a backseat uh, player. Because you're looking at it and go, oh, I could solve that. No. no problem. No, you think you can. <laughs> I think... The key to there this is just... There you go. That's how you stay on the upper level. Oh, that was the problem. It was clearing out the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push yeah. that barrel off. Clear out that dirt. So then just then. don't let those barrels beside each other. Push that, push that barrel off. There you go. Push, push. Oh, oh, no. Why? See, that's that's the confusing part. You don't think it's going to do that? You think you're going to be underneath it. But you're not. She just goes push. She goes kick. Okay, let's try this again. She goes kick. So that's the key. Those two barrels. Yeah. Well, there's. I don't need to clear, <gasps> clear that out oh, right away. Don't clear the dirt out. But how do you get up there no, we without clearing that. that dirt out? You can, can. You just... Place her. You'll have to do the redo the whole show then. I've got a good solution for that. You can rewind in Twitch and watch the whole show, or wait till YouTube and watch the whole show. Um, what should we say? What should we say? What should we say? I don't know. What 
you should say. What should you say, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. So... You do want to be at the second level, but you don't want to clear that dirt out? <gasps> no. Oh, I know. Yep. Clear, clear the dead yep. out, push it to the right. Yep. Get her on top. Yep. Push to the Yeah, push to the left, then push to the right. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! Oh yeah, okay. That may work. It will. Okay. Yeah, now you got it. I was thinking of a different way, which uh, may I... or may not have worked, but that obviously did work. And then she can go down. She can actually. go down now. Oh, what should we say regarding sitting on the back seat? Well, you can go for it. Tell us what to do. <laughs> but especially tell us what to do when we ask um, for help. Yeah. <laughs> when we're like, oh my god, what do we do? There. Okay. This we're may be the this may be the last level. One thirty. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to you. It's up to you. Two these are hours. these are definitely harder. The first thirty went went through yeah. um, much faster. So. Jeez. Yeah, okay, there's I a lot of blocked stuff there. I can uh, clear. If I push that to the right, I can clear that first green. And then land on top of the other person and clear out the next green. I'm just going to try some stuff. Oh, no, mm -hmm. I can't. No, that's gonna no, that's stuck there, but that might be okay. And she... So if you push that over one, and then you freeze yourself, yeah. uh, that might not work. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> mm. I can't push that barrel at all. No. That's underneath me. Mm. Yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs> so the one person I have can't go anywhere. Well, I can't push that barrel underneath me. I can drop down, but then I'm stuck. You can. Yeah. Um. You can. Okay, so if you. <laughs> if. It's a common phrase. If you get. No. <laughs> if she falls off. The right hand one? Oh! Um, oh! Oh! Mm, no, because the barrel sits on top of her and. We'll never be able to get that barrel over. But maybe you don't need to. The key is to figure out a way. Yeah. Like this kind of thing? Oh no! Well, <laughs> oh no. She can move. Oh, I can. Oops. Um, yeah, she can move. If she falls off. Right. No, don't push. Oh no, you, you have to, don't you? No, 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 no! Okay, you've got. Yeah. You've got ladders there. Yeah, but I can't get up on them unless I push that bottom barrel down. Then I can. <sighs> Maybe you have to get then. all the barrels across the bottom so you can use the ladders. Oh, maybe. And then down. Now I can use the ladders. Okay. Now can I use these barrels to get the rest? You can get one get one but then that barrel's out of commission it's done and i can't move that barrel at all until i move get that second green guy but sh this girl can drop and come back around no the other one she oh. can drop off the edge yes and and go up to that so she can True. now move yeah she can move to there what was i thinking it's not super helpful it's not high enough that's the problem. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she can't get under the barrel. Oh! I can push oh, that barrel to... Oh! Oh! She can drop. You can drop on top of her and get the green guy, which drops the right. barrel. Right. Right. But, right, but, right. but be careful, because now the barrel's trapped again. But I'm thinking... It is trapped again. Oh! No. It's not. It's on top of me. Ah, uh, ha, ha. There. Yeah. Now I can push it over one. And then she can push it over. Be careful. I can get this green guy. But then the barrel gets released. So you have to stay under it. 
Oh, should I? Yeah. Um, if you if you stay there and she pushes the barrel, what happens? Yeah. Uh, if you stay there. Right. Yeah. I can't do anything. And I can push that over. You can push the barrel over, and then you can push it all the way over, potentially, because you can take the ladder. So the question is, is where do you want that barrel? Yeah. Like, you could move over. Oh, I don't know. What do we want to do here? Hmm. If I push that over to then I'll be able to get that first guy and then possibly the second guy and then do it again using that second barrel. Or you can uh, you can push the barrel from the ladder back if you want. Yeah, that's true. You haven't completely screwed yourself yet. <laughs> um. Kick. Uh, you might have though. I think we're on the right track. I, I think we might have made it impossible though. It's 22.35 over here, so yeah, the end is near. <laughs> yeah, Is there any yeah. use yet regarding the likelihood of this game getting released? Oh, do you, you just missed me saying that, I guess. Yeah. Um, yes, there is a possibility. Uh, I think it's good. I'll let you. Oh, you want to chat a bit, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. So the author of this game... Um, so many names. Terrible with names. Uh, M.K. Smith... This isn't posted publicly, uh, this game yet, uh, has reached out to the C64 developer of the original homebrew of this game, uh, who is a developer of the C of C64 games from way back in the day, in the 80s, if I remember correctly. Um, so hopefully he will be able to do something with this game. And I said the three possibilities are not release it at all because he doesn't want somebody making it for the 7800 which is a possibility it does happen um, or he gets to release it for free not make any money off of it which is a possibility or he's able to release it on cart um, with uh, a pokey chip in it um, and they figure out some agreement between them um, hopefully that's what we get. Um, getting it for free is a great option as well, so that people can play this on the 7800. Not getting it released at all, hopefully that's very unlikely, because um, that would be a real shame. This is a, an excellent, excellent port of the homebrew for the C64. So those are the possibilities now. Um, he hasn't heard back yet, as far as I know, from the C64 developer of uh, Million Molly. Um, but I mean, I would be, I would be flattered if somebody ported my game, um, so that more people could enjoy the concept of it. Because who knows if the C64 developer is interested in making ports for other systems. And this is at the right kind of level for technology for this type of game. The 7800. This could be made on the 2600 using uh, the Robo Mechanic engine. Um, obviously, it would be not as nice looking as this. It would be. It would have the flicker of the Robo Mechanic engine. This looks strangely familiar. No. Except that barrel is stuck. It's stuck, but I Instead. think it might have to be. Really? Yeah. To keep it out of the way? That might be true. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now I can get one more, and then there's just one left. You have to be very careful of which, how to drop she that barrel. Falls. I mean, you have to get it. You have to fall. And then do you push it to let yes. it fall? Depends where you she want moves. these people. Yeah. And then I move. 
her, and then I fall. Do you want that barrel over? What? No. I just want to get this guy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yay! Five. So? Where did we start? We started at 30 again? We made 31. through 15? 31. That's not bad. Yeah, because they're getting 15 much. levels. They they require a lot more thought, <laughs> and you have to test them out and lose a couple of times, which is you know yeah you can't just predict your whole way. And the show's it. gone long for enough. me at least. Yeah. So the I, show's gone long enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to this hours. though. I'm really enjoying this game. Yeah, it's a we lot should of fun. try and just keep pushing through. Yeah. When there's a, yeah. s a space to play this game. Only 55 more to go. Is it 80 or 100? 100. I can't remember. Is it? Okay, it's that's 100. good, though. That, that allows for a lot of gameplay. It I does. find as the levels get harder, it's not that the, the they get they ramp up. It's just the solutions are very different, if that makes sense. It's a different Once it's hard, type it's hard. of puzzle. Of solution. Yeah. It's not like, puzzle oh, do that solution. over and again, over again. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool, though. No. I like this game. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. Only 55 more. Only 55 more. Oh. Yeah. But that's okay. Getting through 50 in a show is in little small chunks is pretty, is pretty good. good, I think. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. So let's just switch back to the chat so we can see all you wonderful people. Yes. There we go. There's our normal screen. Um, so a great group of games today. Mm -hmm. As per usual, thankfully, mm -hmm. there's still lots of amazing games being made mm -hmm. for homebrew. Um, so we started off with I Ran. It's a brand new graphic skin of a game that's been in development for mint for a year or so um, by VHZC. Uh, lots of variety, awesome graphics, really, really good graphics of the little things you have to jump over and duck. Um, he's completed two levels. He's made two levels and a randomization which is cool version of yep. it, which is yep. a great really add-on nice. to have. Yeah, because you've got the game just flip a switch and say just shoot it out randomly mm -hmm. yeah uh robot city which is also awesome it's completed now mm -hmm. unless there's any issues with it but i think it's pretty awesome yeah. no issues that i can see at all yeah. with it it's mm -hmm. wonderful um the cover's done the artwork's in progress um thank you dan mm -hmm. says good show today larry the lemon a nice fun little 2k game um, hopefully you can do an update that I suggested. I don't know how that would change the dynamics, but it doesn't the way sound it... like they're, they're actively changing it, are they? N no, no, he doesn't like to change games no. afterwards. I think it's pretty fun. I think, but I think if you want, if you're going for a high score, it's then you're, you're, there's just a pattern to it. And there's I a think, pattern. Yeah. And, and the enemy doesn't come into factor that much when you do that. Yeah, it's, it's the precision of you just not screwing up as you're as yeah. not slowing down. But Still uh, fun. It is fun, and it's but, really cute. But then it comes to the randomization of where the crosses are and how close they are to you for your yeah. high score. It's yeah. not as much skill yeah. as it is random. Yeah. I do like, though, how uh, Barry the Banana, how he moves oh my God. when he's further so away. It good. actually does make it really challenging. AI is unpredictable yeah. and very challenging. Yeah. So, Packrat, if you could suggest that to him i think it's a very easy tweak i don't know yeah if he know. if he if he randomly pauses a bit to get further away um that would I, I that would do it speed up speed up yeah if he's if he's just a bit faster than you because then you have to slow him down but even that may not be good enough because it you'd have to speed him up enough that you'd have to press the I... button so that you would lose all your slow down so that you would have to change tactics. I personally, and keep far I personally away. think if he randomizes it and he slows down or he changes direction every once in a while, then you get more of that random movement. But um, or uh, yeah, he changes yeah. direction and he's like stops yeah. chasing you. He's like I've been just chasing for you. for a moment, like almost randomly, he changes direction. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he's further away, and now you've got more of that AI kind of weird movement. Yeah, yeah. either way or both. Yeah. Because you know? yeah, once he's once he's a certain distance away from you, he just chases you, and then yeah. you just run around. So, so. Packrat may be able to get yeah. somebody else to look into that yeah. because also, Atari Twenty Six Hundred yeah. Land posts his um, his source code a lot. Oh, I so see. So it may be available to just for someone to play do. with. Yeah. To do that last little tweak. Yeah. So that would be it's very awesome. cool, though. It's that'd very be cool. Really, really. I don't wanna. Yeah. 
And it's Millie and Molly, game. of course, is awesome. We've played this before. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> uh, it makes you want to come back to it more and more. Oh, and, yeah. You just want to keep plowing through levels. Try yeah. and complete it. And it's it's got of, that addi addictive puzzling element to it. So. And, and it's yeah. one of those games that is a great thing that you could buy because by the time you finish the 100 levels, you won't remember the solution. No. So you, it has replayability. It does have replayability. You may be like, I think I remember this, but you won't remember all those levels. The nice thing about a game like that is you can, if, if you're persistent, you can just hammer away at it. Yeah. And it's also great, you know, even a kid, they can do the early levels and it, the the higher levels are yes. challenging, but you just can just... Give them the first 10 levels. And I like games like that where you, you you never fail at them. You just keep trying. And those yes. are kind of fun. You know, like like yeah. if you're if you're struggling with a level, then you just put it down and you come, come back, back to it later. And yeah. There was your the early great. cats. The cats were early in the show. <laughs> There's a cat over yeah. there. Yeah. Out of, out of sight. We can grab him. Yeah. yeah. He's not going to be happy, but we can grab him. Oh, he's sleepy. Oh, he's just sleeping. But sometimes he just sleeps. Yeah. He's, he's off in here. But he he's is. just off and off camera. So yeah, and he, he sleeps he off He was camera. just on the floor, just in, by the doorway. Oh, he's settling. There we yeah. go. You're okay. I'm so sorry. He was like just fully asleep. And <laughs> he's like, what just happened? I, just I got, got transported. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's tired. Oh. He's a sleepy cat. <laughs> oh, you can't really see him. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, can, you see, can him. see him. You can see his head at the bottom yeah. of the screen there. Yeah. Atari. So, so lots of fun uh, games today. We're going to be playing some more fun games. Of course. Coming up. Uh, we're going to be playing next show on Wednesday. Uh, Bomb on Pixel City. And there is an actual oh. high score. Oh. Are world you, record. Are you, it's, well, it's no, not tough. the high, high score, but do you There's have a, a goal? Record. Do you have a goal in mind for the, that one? The world record. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 40,000. It's not easy. No. Um, and it's set yeah. by the guy who keeps beating my scores. <laughs> my, oh. my world records it's <laughs> really good my world records. uh we're gonna be playing taking a look at legacy of the beast a work in progress uh that looks really really nice and we'll be playing aardvark uh for the 2020 harmony games number two trying to beat thomas yench and put in that last high score before it's over mm -hmm. Then next Sunday, we'll be playing Alfred Challenge, Low Res Racer. It's made by VHZC. It's an older game that he's made. <clears throat> and then starting on the first game of round three, or the round three of uh, 2020 Harmony Games, which is Amoeba Jump, mm. which will be a lot of fun. I love Amoeba. And we'll have a goal. Okay. And there's some, like, there's some people out there who just destroy, destroy at Amoeba, Amoeba Jump. Jump. Yeah. Like, they've rolled it. Yeah. Literally rolled the game. Yeah. Like nine, 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 nine. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And then it's getting closer and closer. The Wednesday after that, Champ Games, new secret homebrew game. Yay! And nobody knows what it is. Yeah. Not I, not Atari. Everyone's coming up with games, coming yep. up with ideas of what it might be. So the show before that... Mm. Oh, we do have to leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> if we've got minutes left. <laughs> um, what is that? What's that little snowflake? Oh, Direct Relief Charity. It shows if you've uh, donated to nice. a certain charity. That's, That's very cool. That's nice. Yeah. Um, oh, Pack Rat VG knows? No, you don't know. <laughs> lying. Everyone thinks I they think knows. the show before that show, we're going to try and guess. Mm. We're trying to guess what arcade game he's ported. It may mm. not even be an arcade game. It may be like a game on another console. That's true. That never got made to, to the 2600. But judging by the patterns... It's going to be an arcade game that he's done. Yeah. Uh, rules of round three harmony games are posted. It's just locked. Oh, good. So we'll be able to know what the uh, round three score. Um, Excellent. Things that we're shooting for. Yes. Great show. I missed out in Robot City. Yeah, oh, it was a that fun sucks. Game. It was. It's yeah. amazing. And thank you for all the work that you did in bringing Robot City to life and to test it yeah. back in 1982 yeah. and to put it out finally for the. Um, yeah. What system was that? I yeah. always forget because yeah. pack, pack, video pack? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, anyway. You're very welcome, I yeah. suppose. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? We're, we're leaving. The show's <laughs> over. It's uh, It's been almost three hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll be back on Wednesday. Yes. So make sure you tune in Apple Avocado uh -huh. that then and you'll be able to see more awesome Atari 2600 games. Yeah. Yes, the video pack, European Odyssey 2. Um, and... Yeah, beyond that, uh, 
uh, we'll fill in the shows. Mm -hmm. So thank you for tuning in, everyone. Thank uh, you for watching. Janzel in uh, Netherlands, Apple Avocado. Uh, I supposed to Dan AVC, S Ramirez 2008, Pack Rat VG, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Metal Lunar, Thrust 26, Spartan, Spartan 581, 581, Mark Space Incorporated, uh, Thunkist, Spiceware joined us for a little bit there. Thank you for uh, re upping your subscription. Uh, who else in the list? Kevin and Judy, Prow Seven. Nice. Uh, Jan's L was Ding Cuckoo. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kind of counts twice. Yeah. Um, Captain, Captain Classic. Classic. Was there. VHZC, of yeah, course, was excellent. here to help us uh, Lots talk about people. his first Lots game. Lots of people popping in and out. Oh, yeah. Scott of the Hall. Uh, yes. Lots of people. Yeah. Oh, great. Al from Atari Age was here yeah. at one point. Yeah. And that's far back as I scroll. And oh, Alnifer popped in. Oh, Spice is still here. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you, everybody, uh, for watching and enjoying the games. And go out and download the ones that are available. Iran will be available very shortly, mm, if not. Very cool. I'm sure he's already posted it. Check in the Atari Age forums. Robot City is available. Larry the Lemon is available. And hopefully, Million Molly yes. will be available. But in the meantime, we'll keep playing it and showing mm -hmm. it off to everyone. Looking forward to Iran. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Yeah. So join us next Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time for another uh, stream of uh, Zero Page Homebrew. That's right. And, and thank you. Uh, this gets posted tomorrow, 24 hours after we stream on YouTube. So make sure you yeah. subscribe to all the things and follow us and Twitch and Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend.